after um, after the party uh, learned some things around the docks of Bilgewater they were awoken the next morning and hastily uh, made their way down to the ship docks so they could prepare to take on Jack and Sin. After some time out at sea and some conversations with uh, their crew, you managed to arrive at this isle where after disembarking, Jack's ship uh, appeared around the bow of the bay and uh, entered into combat. The rest of your crew, the rest of you made your way to the shore and managed to uh, find and siege a uh, singed stronghold underground lair where after completing some puzzles you managed to make your way into um, the main uh, test floor where you got to confront the fetid doctor in all his malevolence and after an intense and grueling combats you managed to burn him to a crew but right now on the other side of the room there is a tank uh, about to blow as you see the shell of this container bump and push uh, because of the gas we're still technically in initiative what is everyone doing um I think I think uh, Haley's gonna take out her uh, potion of greater healing and smash that bad lad back all good. So that's 4d4 plus 4, so I'll roll those now. Malice is going to investigate the door that Singe came through to see if there's a way to open it. If there is, if and if there is time additional, she'll check if there's a entryway or exit outside from the room behind. All right, she'll sure. make me an investigation check. It's an 18. 18? Uh, the door appears to be damaged, but it's kind of ajar as the two panels have kind of fallen in on each other. So oh. you can see through the gaps, but uh, this sliding door looks looks a bit so I would be able to tell that, like, none of us would be able to get through it, right? Or at least nobody, not all of us. Um, you might be able to force your way through, or you can take a different approach. It's, it's very clearly broken. Yeah. Um, Malu, what are you doing? Uh, also, uh, uh, Malu 14. has 14 HP. Cool. I'm pretty sure I used my uh, my uh, alcoholic uh, potion uh, yes, last beat necklace in the last c c uh, session. So in that case, Malu is just attempting to uh, get as much distance between him and the the tank in question as he can, and will. Uh, even go as far as to uh, go to water dive to get away. Okay, so where are you going? Which tank is it that's... Uh, uh, I'll, I will... I'll tell you, I'll tell you what, he, like, knowing the big cannons there, I'm just going to head for the big cannon. Okay. Um... You make your way over here. No worries. Uh, Mimics is gonna run down and um, 
gonna try and punch your way through the door. See you. 17, alright. Uh, Melissa, this uh, uh, mimics comes up next to you and her gauntlet fist slams into this panel and looks like she uh, budges the door slightly, but it's still not um, it's still not quite open. Now it's the lesson. Okay. Uh, this tank, this hissing tank on the left side of the room, a gasket goes flying off the side as a jet of green poison pulls out. It hasn't exploded yet, but it's getting close. Uh, back to you, Haley. Um, okay, so I've healed up. Um, I'm going to... So on which, looking at um looking at Astral, on which side of the tank is the gasket looking about ready to blow? Uh it's just leaked out the top side of the tank where the green. Oh like, over, on, the, over, on, this, over on that side. This whole thing is Okay. Yeah, it's going to explode soon. Okay. Um I think what I'm gonna do, slap the beef that uh bonus HP. Yep. And then, because the door's over here, isn't it? Like, over, that's the door over here on it's, this side. Then we can't really get to that. There's also, a, yeah. That, um, this one up here has been closed behind you. Yep. And, and this one down here is damaged, but ajar. Okay, I'm going to move Mimix down. And Mimix is trying to punch her way through. Okay, I'm going to move down, and I'm going to um, help Mimix try to open the door. Move the B cannon, do the uh, HP thing, which I'll do now. Cool. Fun. Right, I so moved towards that's the. That's a seven plus three. That's ten extra points of temporary HP. No worries. I don't get it. I'm out of range. And now, I guess. Yeah. How are you helping with the door? Um, I think what Haley's gonna do is go up and investigate it to see if the hinges are working and if we can oil up the hinges to get to push it further open. Okay, uh, make maybe sense? investigation. Investigation check? Yeah. Yes, sir. Oh. Fuck. It's eight. Eight? Yeah. Uh, looking at this, um, you see that the doors are off their runners um, and just kind of uh, been held in place by weight and gravity, and the electronics um, in this room are starting to fry as. Uh, the rumbling um, of this this gas tank grows louder on the other side of the room. Uh, back to you, Melissa. Malu, get over here and help Mimics with this door. And Malice, oh, it's gonna be a little stupid, but she's gonna attempt to move over to where Singed is and like lightly see if there's anything that she can pick up that's identifiable as hers. Okay. Um, make an investigation check. Move. You can get all. 17. 17. Uh, he is burned to a crisp. Um, you, there's remnants of the shield, but it's blackened and scorched. Uh, completely worse for wear. Okay, sweet as looks like most of the bandages he was wearing um, helped ignite the rest of his body. Uh, going down, Malu. Malu's had the same idea of Malu. Uh, if, if Malu, uh, seeing what this was pointed out, is he able to pick up the shield piece? Or just uh, the remnants of it? Yeah, you can pick it up. Cool. I would like to, to pick it up uh, and just uh, as, almost... As, almost... You, 
as you pick it up, it crumbles in your hands as bits of black char just kind of cake both your palms and the ground around. Damn, no evidence. Survival is keto. I'm going to head over to join Mimics at the door. And if I make in time, uh, attempt to uh, help it. Sure. I have to move them. Uh, make a strength check. Fifteen. Fifteen. Uh, you manage to get your fingers on one of these uh, door plates, and as you pull uh, to the side, you manage to make a, a space between the door uh, and the room. Let me just fix the map real quick, and then get them. Um, but the the door is now open. Go go go! Head along through. How much movement? Uh, you can still get through with the rest of your. I would like to be on the other side of the door, but still holding it open for everyone else to get through. Sure. Uh, make me a perception check, real quick. Twenty-two. Twenty-two. Uh, as you're holding these doors, you take a quick glance around the room, and on the panel uh, next to you, you see a big red button uh, saying emergency blast door. I, uh, I hold. I intend to hit it once everyone's through this first door that we're trying to get through. Sure. Uh, it's Milk's turn now, and she's going to run through and uh, uh, get on one side and hold it open. All right, uh, Lair's turn. See what happens. Okay, uh, this tank is going to blow. Let's see who is still in the room. Boom, boom. Uh, I need Haley and Melissa to make deck saves for me. Deck saves? Yeah. It's a 15 for Haley. 18 for Melis. Okay. 18 succeeds. 15 does not, unfortunately. Okay. Uh, as you take five points of. Sorry, not five. 10 points of force damage um, as the shockwave from this thing slams you against the wall. Uh, Melissa, you take five because half damage. Sweet. And you see a big jet of green start sweeping across the room. How? 10, okay. 15, uh, 20 feet. That's so, knocked out my temporary HP. <laughs> yeah. The, the poison is up to here, right? Back to the top, uh, Haley. I'm. I'm just gonna um, run right through the door. No worries. You run through the door. Uh, you I drag making my way feet for behind Melissa. Me as well. Yep. One, two, three. Your bee is just outside. <laughs> Uh, it is still open. Um, is it my turn? Myself and Mimics are holding it. Yeah. Uh, it is still your turn. It's still my turn. Okay, uh, slap B again for more temp HP. Mm -hmm. So that's going to be a 6. 6 of temporary HP for me anyway. I also will take that as I wasn't in range of the first hit. Yep, you get that. Not a problem. And I'm pretty sure that's everything you can do? Yep. Awesome. Melissa, you're up. Melissa's well, just gonna sprint. Um, double yeah, dash. Yep, yeah, dash, sorry. Yep. 60 feet can make it just. 
Not a problem. You run as uh, you feel uh, this poison lick the side of your face as you make it through the door. Uh, you've used your action, so Malu, um, you'll ask Conrad's through the door. I will use my held action or the first of this new round to uh, hit the button. All good. Um, as you hit the button, the door closes and um, all of you see the, the bee like trying to make it across the finish line as the door shuts and through the windows either side of you, you just see a massive green haze slam against it and you can't see anything inside this room anymore <laughs> as just a wall of grey. Just as well, it's immune to poison damage. Not force damage, though. For, not force damage, no, you're correct. It's probably shattered into pieces by now. Poor thing was only on 5 HP. Let's find out. Uh... Yes, yes, it's gone. Um, the, the force of it probably would have had it uh, smash against the window here. Yeah. Just before. Um, Haley has a break and has to rub a tear out of her eye. Honestly, I was half expecting, like, let's see if it lives. I just hear, like, 20 dice roll. <laughs> yeah, same a little bit, to be honest. I'm gonna get my physical dice out. Um, no! I, no! I've got to. Just, hmm, minimum damage 70. <laughs> yeah, that's weird. Okay, we, we are now out of, out of initiative, though. Um, <coughs> you, you know, sweating, clutching your wounds, uh, heaving... Mm somewhat fresh air uh looking around this room looks like some kind of control room uh as there's gauges on the wall uh valves buttons um but other than this kind of assortment of controls you have no idea uh what all of them are for there is a doorway on the left side of the room Is there like any loose bottles, any like uh, experimental potions or something, uh, or is it just literally all just a computing? This is an electronics area. There's no um, specimen jars, uh, visceral material. Can I have a quick look around to see if I find some drill? Uh, sure. Make a quick investigation check. Uh, that's a five. Five. Uh, it's really clean in here, and even with a five, looking around, uh, this this place is all business. Like it's all machinery. Um, there's no not really any item in here. Well, I guess it's just the door. We best get back to the ship. See how they held up from the attack. That's if all they good. Held up. How are you getting back to the ship? I'm going to investigate the door. Sure thing. Uh, make another investigation. Thirteen. Thirteen. Uh, this door has one of those valve uh, wheels for a handle, um, but it doesn't look like it's or there's anything else going on other than it's more secure mechanism. Okay, I'm going to take like two steps back and go, Malu, please. I will attempt to uh, first yank the door and then push the door, and then if either of those work, shoulder charge the door. Okay, you do all three of those things, and you're like, why isn't this working? And then you realize that the door is a wheel door, and you, uh, wind the wheel loose and pull the door open. Ah. Can we please say he Seems takes one damage for like shoulder charging the wheel? Yes, you take one damage. <laughs> He's only got Malice, like eleven HP. My HP right oh there. my god. <laughs> I mean like it was specified it's a wheel door. <laughs> <laughs> like, <who the> fuck? <laughs> yes. And then you asked 
Malu to come over and open said wheel door. Yeah. <laughs> Implying it needs strength, boy. I've never seen a wheel in my life. That's <laughs> what Malu's like. <laughs> Well, lead the way, Mother. Singed was not a man of force. Uh, uh, entering into this room, this looks like uh, some sort of um, locker area. As there's a couple of different cubicle-like units around the edges of this bench, and there's a coat rack and a small shower nozzle um, that's. Labeled steam jet. Anyone for a shower? Yeah, knowing this sense, uh, I don't think what? this is an actual shower. I might have to take my shoes and jewelry off first. Jesus. Anything to get rid of the poison feel. Hey. <laughs> Sorry, okay. <laughs> Pose, but in saying that, I don't think we should trust it. This man lives Anyone turning on the steam jet or looking around these lockers? Uh, I'll investigate the lockers. Haley's gonna go have a look at All the uh, oh. the array over here. The array, like Malu's the gonna controls keep, and the keeper and yep. I. Sure. I'm mean, Malu's gonna keep a forward point and looking down the hallway. Cool. Uh, you move up and. Um, coming to the end of this hallway, there's a set of stairs that go downward. I hold, just looking down the stairs, making sure no one's coming up. All good. Melissa, you want to look in these lockers? Yes, pill for everything. Investigate for me. Haley just passes over the bag of holding. <laughs> <laughs> That's a natural 19. All good. Uh, you find a bunch of different lab coats, uh, boots. Um, and gloves, Pre pretty much uh, a, a lot of scientist gear, goggles in here as well. Um, other than that, there are some small personal items, like one of them's got a bag of pretzels in there. Um, another one has a stuffed bear, and the last one has a pin on the back of the lock. I'm pilfering everything, I don't care how meaningless it is. Sure. Um, looking at this this pinup closer, there is a very scantily clad Vestai, uh, with um, several different poses uh, over the front and the back. Cool, well, um... I'm sure Skyne will be happy with this. Or oh, Shugu. Too well. Shugu would definitely be happy with this. <laughs> <laughs> True. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Haley, you're looking over this array. Please make me an intelligence check. Yep. Uh, intelligence check. Five. Um, Dumb as rocks. You, you've you've seen plenty of hex tech and chem tech alike. This is something you've never seen before. Like you understand how it's made, yeah. But how it works is foreign. Like Singed has definitely taken his own engineering, and. Um, it, it's not similar to anything else you really know. Okay. I'm afraid yeah. I don't recognize this, guys. I know it's hex tech, but I don't understand how it works. Will it fit in the bag? Will Probably the entire not. fucking console fit in the bag? Will it fit in the okay, bag? Okay, I'll be honest, I went to the bathroom, so all I heard was the <laughs> sex tip. That's all I heard. I was like, fuck okay, it, can we pull for? Uh, no, okay, so in that case, I'm gonna move over to, uh, I'm just gonna, like, just double check that it all seems to be much of a muchness, and then move over to, uh, that wee table in the corner, and have a look at what's on that table over here. 
Um, I, I know it looks the way it does on the map. Yeah, but it's not but, actually like that. Uh, it's not actually like that. Everything okay. in here is mechanical. There's, there's no, like, items that are standalone. Okay. Really in this room. That's fine. Come on, Haley, let's move on. All right, all right. No, I'll follow. All good. Uh, there are the stairs here. I assume you guys are ready to take them. Unless Mimix um, wants to do something, yeah. Uh, Mimix is just following along. She takes a look at the shower and presses the button. <laughs> and a uh, vat of steam sprays in her face. And she looks fine. Well, that was interesting. It's like the decontamination room. Uh, who she? What's it now? The room that we came it, through before we went into the big fight. The one that went. Tsh! The ah, other one with the Everything must be sterile for the experiments. Wait, how does Malu even know it, this? Is uh, clearly a sterile Malibu? means. Malice is just like completely confused how like I everybody knows what's going don't on. Think, don't think you're giving him enough credit, Melissa. You went through it too. Did you not pay attention? Well, honestly, no. That's fair enough. We used to have them in Pilsover over in Zorn, where if you had to go into an experiment room, you had to clean yourself of all the bugs and things oh. that were on you. You didn't want those interrupting with your research. Very sophisticated. Well, I, uh, I got soft porn, if that helps. And goes to move forward. Out of character. Is it Ari? <laughs> um, you'll have to have a look at the poster. Uh... <laughs> Honestly, I was going to assume it was Rakan. Actually, fair. Fair. Okay, well, Malice is ready to move on. Yeah. All good. Malu will lead the way. All right. B Cannon, you're removed now. Uh, as you go downstairs, you guys find yourself in uh, what looks like a small uh, admin room. Looks like there's a sign-in book um, that's got a bunch of times and names next to it you discern pretty quickly that this is uh some kind of work ledger or uh the people that were doing experiments in here but other than that there's a small set of filing cabinets and just some pipes and bits of machinery in here beside the desk Awesome, well, I investigate the stuff to pilfer. Okay, okay. Uh, roll me investigation check. That's a natural 18. All good. You open up one of these filing cabinet structures, and as you look inside, it's empty, but at the bottom, it just looks like there's black ash. Um, inside the these bin like uh dr uh so i would know from memory that it would be distinctly different to the remains found where we found the um, oh yeah like okay, you, so you've been playing around with fire long enough to know that they probably burnt paper or something okay Well, that's something of note, I guess. Little note, but note nonetheless. Looks more like a burned note to me. All good. It's two doors here. <laughs> Which one would you like? Wooden doors, clear doors, just doors. Uh, they're all they're all metal down here. But, um. These ones have what looks like kind of a lever system. 
you know, sliding doors, fly screen doors, uh, those sliding doors, something like that, where you push it down and it clicks up and then you move them aside to open these. Mali would like to shoulder charge one of the doors. JK. <laughs> I, I was like, are you fucking serious? <laughs> we just went through I, I, this. I, I couldn't have been more clearer. <laughs> uh, Haley, grab the book. Make sure to do that. Yes, ma'am. And Haley goes and grabs the book. Sure. Grab the book. No. Oh, I've just lost Astro. Just a refresh page. Right? Oh, there we are. Found it. And make a and make a note of the book. In the notebook. And the pawn. Yes, Hellcat. I'll make a note you of the pawn. pawn. <laughs> It, it, oh, it's, gonna get it for, for, for the record, it's smart, but... Yeah, I know. <laughs> That's why I said softball before. Good, good. Wait, where... PG here, Twitch. PG. <laughs> That's only soft, oh, sorry, That's yeah, only prom. For, for prom. Yeah, prom. Don't forget any sorry about that. prawns. Um, so, uh, what prawns? does... Sorry, Melissa, could you remind me, um, was there anything written on the front of the book? Uh, it's the chicken book. Oh, like, yeah, sorry. It, it's, it's just got like a, a log um, yeah. on it. Uh, it's essentially like an employee log, right? Yeah, like time yeah. sheets and shit? Yeah. Yeah, yeah pretty much. And then soft... Like, the, 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 the names here aren't even names. It's it's like a designation. But... Yeah, it's still worth like picking yeah. up. Hellcat, I just want you to know that I'm writing this down by hand, and I was trying to write out pornography, and <laughs> instead of writing pornography, my dumbass ADHD brain tried to write pornography. <laughs> <laughs> so not even prom, no. just pog. 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 Oh, this lewd nice. Oh my god! <laughs> oh no! You're my little pug. Okay, okay that was stop. No, sorry, stop. Was it? it's, it's time to stop. Are you guys coming? Pogography. <laughs> yes, yes, we're coming. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. As you guys. Look like this ray is gonna get like ruler and just like start smacking it on a hand. Oh, like, come on, guys! I feel settle down. Sorry. Uh, as you guys move upwards, in, oh damn. Yep. Look at that. Uh, funnily enough, though, you do uh move up here, and there are windows to these small rooms. Uh, looking inside, you see the, some of them completely empty, but some of them contain uh, humanoid figured bandaged individuals um, that are doing a range of different things. The one in front of you is just sitting in the corner, arms crossed, um, looking at the ground, and you can't really see into any of the ones uh, further down the Okay. Some messed up experiments I... going on here. I can't say I probably... I probably say that if we do not know these people, do not let them out, we'll leave this kind of thing to the sheriff. Because I don't know about you, but I don't know people, and if these people aren't right in the head, then I can't help them other than putting them out of their misery. It's, I understand, Melissa, but it's, in saying that, we can't... We can't very well leave them here, can we? Whether or not we take them out physically, or... We, let, set, we set them free one way or another. Yes, but what I mean is we do leave them here, and we just give the information of this location to the Sheriff and Jessamine, and they can deal with the people. 
I'm fine being hated by people who were not released immediately, but people who were given the ability to be released more safely is probably more beneficial for them. This is true. Unfortunately, I think we've just taken out their handlers for the foreseeable future. Whether or not they'll be fed or watered in the meantime is unknown. Well, are you volunteering to stay? No. No, you're right. You're right, Melissa. Do no keep worry. an eye out for Narigil, though. Of course. Uh, one second. Stealing with something. Ah, oh, yeah, can I just say that lab ambience was, like, fucking with me. Like, the small whispering and the typing. Yeah, oh. same. I had to be like, err? Err? <laughs> Yeah, what the fuck is this? I do my best. I do my best. Yeah, we know. Um... Yeah. I'm not sure if it's in there or not, but the typing may or may not have been me. I've had to take my bush to talk off just so I oh, can no, actively act no, on no, Astral. It's, no, it's, it's, it's in the ambience. Okay, cool. Okay. Um, where are you guys going from here? This hallway is ahead of you. There is a large set of steel doors at the end um, with a small beeping light atop it, and there are a bunch of cells either side of you. Now the question is, is, do we want to escape this maze or completely explore it? Well, they have windows, no? You know, that's true. So I'm just gonna open all these up. They can't get to you, but you can at least see in the rooms. Mm. And someone just... Yep. Malu, I want to remind you as well that even if we do find Narragil, he might not be himself. I'm... I'm prepared for this prospect. Alright. I'm aware of what is going on here. Well... I think we're becoming aware of what's going on here, at least. Alright, so where are we going? I assume the door at the like end of this hallway is one similar to the door that we entered this hallway in. Uh yes. It is. Okay. It it looks this one looks like it's more reinforced. Okay. Uh Malu is snarking in this hallway. You said that we don't recognize any of the prisoners, didn't you? Uh, looking at each of these prisoners, they're all bandaged up, uh, almost completely bandaged, and while some of them are looking at the windows, uh... Oh. Uh, any, uh, discernible feature. Sorry guys, I dropped out there for a second. Uh, basically, the, the prisoners, um, you can't really discern anything about them because they're all bandaged up, and we were just clarifying that. They also yep. can't see uh, you on the other side of the glass. At least that's what... Unfortunately, due to the mummification process, I can't actually make heads or tails of if any of them could be now girl, let alone... Oh, they're, they're not mummified, they're are... just... They're just... Well, yeah. The... the layers in the wrapping and everything. Oh, right, good. okay. I'm thinking more <laughs> June 1... June, June 1 mummy rather yeah. than... M mummies are very DVD. different. 
Scoot, scoot, Ruby? Ruby, yeah. Ruby, who? I'm okay, thinking like well, college TP money, mummy kind of style. I have a feeling I know what's on the other side of that door, and I'm not going to like it. Attempt to go through. All good. Uh, as you move up to this door, uh, there is a lever on each side of the hallway. It looks like it takes. To this. On three. On three. One, two, three. As you guys count down, three, two, one. Both these levers clunk and small mist dips between the door as it starts to slide open. In front of you, you see a large room, vats of different chemicals and liquids. Circle it. But in the center, you see a figure. A tall, well-built man, discolored with purple skin naked from the top down completely bald as it turns to you it looks <laughs> make a perception check everyone. Ten for Malu. Three from Malus. All good. All those are enough. As it turns, you see around its neck, a small pendant waves over its chest, and the symbol on it is that of Nagkaboros. You, Malu, would know this to be Narago that pendant. Look what they've done to you. As he takes a step forward, it looks like he's reaching out towards all of you. Thank you for coming after me. Thank you for your sacrifice. If it is a sacrifice, like, is he just like ambling towards us or like charging? He's just ambling. Sacrifice it doesn't have to be. Does anyone have any cleansing left? Unfortunately, I do not. Malu moves into the room, scouring to see if there's any sort of obvious antidote in a desperate attempt. Malice is going to prepare to cast haste on Malu. Oh, good. You enter the room. As this creature shambles close to you. I will try my best. Unfortunately, magic isn't exactly our forte. Um, out of character, I have lesser restoration. Lesser restoration isn't going to help that much with this um, sort of thing, is it? Because it can only really get rid of blinded, deaf, and paralyzed, or poisoned. And I don't know if poisoned is going to be enough of a quotient to... It's too far gone. It is far too gone. far gone. Okay. Less, Malus it's lesser. lists off the yeah. haste on Malu. Ended in one, Malu. He's not saying heal. 
He's saying, end it, essentially. Is that what you want? Help to end the suffering? Mallow, make me a wisdom saving throw. Just cast the haste! This isn't against Aragorn, I don't think. It's a 15. Kill him. No. In one. I would like to rage. I will draw the dark blade. And I will make an attack. Make an attack. A 25 to hit. Oh, Jesus. You strike true. It deals 14 damage. Nargil seems to be submitting to this, and as he falls to his knees... Thank you. I'm sorry. Malo. Thank you for coming after me. You did what you could. It appears you fell into their arms in the same way I did. Finish him! No! I would like to try and make the fatal blow. Coup de gras. Strike. Do you need to roll for that one, sorry? Uh, this will auto hit. Okay, cool. Tell me the damage. Another 15 damage. Piercing. Don't want even more damage to go, Malo attack again! No, no, he's, he's, he's letting you do this. <laughs> um, I get two attacks per action anyway, so in theory it's like whoosh whoosh whoosh. Yeah, you've got like five attacks, bro. As this creature falls to his knees, you see this purpley uh, start to drain from his body. And for a brief few seconds, you see your mentor weak, but as he was, as he looks you in the eye and falls. It's done, Malu. We're closer now. That was the first time. But there will be more. My name. No one forgets the drowned. <laughs> it's good to finally have a name. Makes it more real in my own head rather than just aggressive, apparitional thoughts. You'll kill for me again. And again. Second nature. And when I need you, you'll be a titan. You Sorry. get a new lease on life. Keep listening, Mellow. <sighs> As the voice fades from it.
And so both my paths converge, it seems. I had to be the one to do that, I think. Thank you for letting me. To the rest of the group, by the way, sorry. Ralph will put her hand on Molly's shoulder. He may not be here now, but he will technically always be with you. At least the Check. Conf Check. confusion is out of my head. I found him. We set out to find him and we found him. We found him alive as well. It's, you know, it's a shame it had to come to this, but at least I won't forever be thinking what if. Would you like to take his pen? I would like to take it and immediately don it. Okay. It's not going in a bag. This is staying with me. Of course, I would never think of taking it from you. You are a mark. Of the fake queen. Pathetic. Come now, let's move on. And Malice will grab Mimix's hand as she moves off. Mali would like to respond to the to the drowned. You may think she's fake, but she's all I've ever known before you. Where was she when you sank below the waves? She cares nothing of you. Is nothing to you. Everyone needs their motivation to stay sane at night. Looks like I uh, <laughs> got a got a few sources now. You sane. We'll see about that. As you hear the water move in your head the voice I'm sorry if I ramble on guys I uh the voices in my head are getting a bit talkative today Shall we continue, or do we want to take a moment? What a day. I don't know about you, but I sure could use a sit down. Here in the middle, or once we reconvene, I guess is the. Once we reconvene, I. <sighs> this place gives me the creeps. Yes, it does. Then let's endeavor to reconvene. You guys reconvene at the front. Still another door to your cell. Malice opens it. Sure. 
You, sorry for the clarification. I, I was in, in Malu's intention there is to, uh, in, when he says reconvene, is to reconvene with the, the boat party. Yeah. The rest of the crew that we've left behind. As you walk into this new room, Melissa, it is a sight. Looking around, you see different specimens uh, floating in um, some kind of preserving liquids. To your left, you see two tables with straps and headgear hooked up to tanks, devices, and levers, all malevolent in design. What takes your interest is a table in the middle of the room, which has three vials atop it, each labeled. Uh, to confirm which table, is it this table or this table? This table. Okay. Uh, can I read the labels? Sure. You go up to the first one, and on it says, Haley. The note afterwards takes a finer print, but as you start reading, it goes as such. Yordles. Interesting creatures. Not many test subjects. As far as my current work goes, from the DNA we've spliced from those three, this one's potential isn't yet real. While her intellect is definitely high, she's not in tune with her other planar boundaries. After some research, I have unlocked such potential. But she won't get to use it until she's under my control. The liquid in this vial is a shimmering silver. Can I read the next? Next one says Melissa. Interesting creature. While I thought them just another common creature, this one's DNA suggests after condensing her magic down into its more primal forms, what I've uncovered is shocking, to say the least. There seems to be some kind of power struggle internally between the two energies, but I decided to focus on the more aggressive. This dark power, foreign to me. I'm curious to see how she reacts once testing in. This vial is a slightly crackling purple liquid. Can I use my sword to shatter the vial? <laughs> um, you can try. I'd like to try it. Make me a wisdom save. Dirty 20. Dirty 20. Check something. Are we still poisoned, by the way? Nope. That would not be good enough. Melissa. Your conscious fades briefly, and you feel yourself in a familiar but different body once more. As you look around, you see the insides of a cave. As 
bra black crackling light bounces off the walls. Your large body lumbers up to a pool in the ground. And as you look down, you see your draconic black scaled face look back at you as the eyes light with a purple flash and you feel your sword arm let go. I assume I'm back in, like, my body now? Yep. Malice is going to aggressively cuss under her voice. Breath, rather. Feel a wind pick up in this room. Uh, Malice is gonna instantly try and follow it. It just feels like it's circling, brushing against your face. It doesn't lead in any direction. Uh, can she kind of like walk along the walls, avoiding the doors and try and find any kind of like entrances slash exits uh there's two doors behind this table and there's a larger door to south and then a hallway for this to the right south sorry the southeast yeah uh the reason why i'm specifying like avoiding the doors is because malice knows that these are like heavily reinforced and aren't letting air through at all mm. So she's trying to find something different. Doesn't appear to be anything else here. Okay, um, just go read the final vial then. It says Malu. Curious. <laughs> After my experiments on the first Buru, their natural resilience has merit. But this Malu creature, after splicing his cells numerous times, there's something I can't quite grasp. Is a foreign energy, something that lingers regardless of how much I dilute or dissect. I've grown tired of removing this kindred and decided to focus on it. After some tinkering, I've managed to empower it. Whatever's keeping that thing alive, I'll find out what it is. But it's not from this world. Okay, Malice will take the notes. Hand the note to the respective people to them. Was everyone paying attention, or yes, do you uh, need to go through it again? I, I, the vial of silvery glittery liquid, and yeah. the cork and smell it to see what it smells like. It smells... Oh. It smells... Like it's fizzy. Uh, yeah, like that but it isn't. Smell. Yeah, it, 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 feel, it smells like that carbony sort of smell. Liquid us almost. Where and 
Where on earth you got us from? Ah, uh, you're breaking up a bit, Licker. Wherever he managed to get our essence from, I'm fascinated how he's managed to condense it. This smells like my old workshop. Back home. Would you mind putting the vials into the bag? Of course not. Um, uh, let me just... And she grabs the tissue paper that I got earlier, and I'm going to wrap the vials in tissue paper to keep them safe before I put them in the bag of holding. I knew it was going to okay. be useful for something. As you try and put these <laughs> files in the bag, it looks like the bag, as if it was magnetic, um, reverse polarity pushes uh, uh, these things backwards cut. as you try and push them towards the bag. Hide them, stash them, anything. Just if people are coming through after Hayley. us, I would rather them not find them. Haley, did you say you had some sort of restoration? Ability prepared. I do. I do. I have a, a, mi a minor restoration. Keep it close. Mallow would like to uncork his bottle and take a swig. Okay. Mallow, uh, I didn't tell you what this looked like, but it's a dark, glowing blue liquid. This one. As you take a swig, your heart thumps and then rapidly speeds up as you feel your skin bite. as this stone like almost petrifying effect comes over your body Haley, Melissa, you see the veins on Malu pop as it looks like this substance is coursing around his body and as it works up and gets towards his skull, on the left side, you see what looks like a horn push through the left side of his skull and twist up and over his head. It looks like this horn is made out of solid metal. And as Malu, you feel yourself scream, he opens his eyes and a blue iridescence beams out of them as two of his teeth sprout what look like fang. Malu, you now have the infernal constitution feat. Ooh. But something has changed deeply and you're not sure what. I have added that to your character sheet. Malu, are you all right? Thank you. Oh, what a rush. You feel if we... exhausted. Take a point of exhaustion, but to anyone looking on, Malu's eyes are now glowing a, a dim light blue and this metal horn uh, hasn't gone any. Uh, Haley, mm -hmm. can I have my vial back, please? Only if you promise to drink yours at the same time I drink mine. Well, I don't plan to do it now, so that's fine with me. Damn it! S save it before bed. Exactly. I feel exhausted. Well, I would right. much prefer to do mine privately after I uh, talk with somebody. That's fine, Malice. Here, and she'll hand the tissue wrapped vial to Malisha. Currently, um, to find exhaustion. Uh, to. Under conditions. Yeah. Thank you. Also, feel free to just refresh your. Character sheet. Yeah, I, I can see. I can see the infernal. I can see the infernal. Uh, can Melis investigate to see if there is anything inside these like testing tanks? Uh, these testing tanks over here. Uh, looking inside these testing tanks, um, it looks like there's nothing currently. But make a 
intelligence check. A 19. 19. Looking at the equipment and everything hooked up to these testing tanks, you think something was been extracted from the victims on these tables into these testing. Yeah. I'll relay that to the group and suggest we move forward. Malu, are you alright? Tired, yes. Why do I look any different? Uh, you looked very different. I mean, your body is yours, but... You have a horn. And your eyes. And your teeth. That's not me. Or at least I don't think that's what I'm meant to be. I thought this was meant to be condensed us. We're closer. Well, hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. And Haley gets out the note that Melissa passed her. This note says potential. Potential for me. Maybe it's not condensed us, maybe it's our condensed potential. What we could be. That's why you've grown that thing out of your head and your teeth have gone all funny. You could have been that. And now you are. You, so, can, you can make an intelligence check if you want to. Yes, I would like to. Cool. Yep. Yeah. Go ahead. Uh, that is a 14. 14. Yep. Well, alchemy is not your uh, area of specialties, um, you do understand that there's every possibility it could be parts of you and other things um, to make something like this. But it's very apparent that the essence of creatures is in play. Okay. Uh, you are no longer poison. Thank you. Do you feel well enough to move forward, Malu? Not to fight, or not to fight well, but I'd rather sleep on the ship than here, so yes. I recommend we keep moving. And Malice opens the door. Thing. Opening this door, uh, yep. in front of you you see a office as what looks around as you look around there is a long shelf of books uh to your right to your left it seems to be uh some almost trophy like specimen um containers along here different interesting uh parts of creatures that you've never seen or heard of uh, but looking at the desk in front of you and a hat stand to the back, you see the leather um, jacket singed, wore to the banquet, and a bunch of notes scattered across. The Malice is just gonna look at Haley with like a massive smile and just like Haley looks fingers. back with the same smile. <laughs> I pass Melissa through the bag and uh, I get to looking at the notes on the table. Not a problem. And this is going to be our evidence for the bounty, I guess. I we tried to get the shield, but you burned him too well, Malice. Well, yes, it was either burn him now and hopefully not die, or die, so I went with the former. Of course, but now we get the money too.
All right. What are you doing? Stuff everything in the bag. All right. But like uh, having a small read it, like anything interesting before putting it in. Make an investigation check. Uh, joint with Haley or no? If you want. It's up to uh, you guys to work out. Um, are you going to do a different kind of search? I'm basically just, like, I'm just helping you, but I'm taking a more in-depth look at the notes, I think. Okay, so I'd say that's separate roles then. Yeah. I can help you? <laughs> Would you like me to help you? Or is that laugh because you got no. 26 or some bullshit? <laughs> <laughs> no, I've got no pluses to investigation, so I've got no clue why I'm constantly doing the investigating, but that's off, a man. natural yeah. twenty. Well done, well done, well done. Investigating's your job, Haley. <laughs> she always just gets there before me. I've got little legs. She's much, much taller than I am. But yeah, I'm And gonna... normally I'm like the one going, this way, yes. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna roll an investigation check anyway. Sure. Uh, it's going to be a 19. Mine. 19? Yeah. Alright. Give me, so, give me one well, second, because I've right. gotten kicked from my fucking session. Hang on, um, I'll, go, I'll go to the bathroom quickly, but yeah, I was gonna say, um, just cool. mechanically, like, Malice is looking for anything of value to put into the bag and to put like everything in. Yeah. Mechanically, I, yeah. you don't get to put everything in the bag. You oh, have yeah, to I know. find things individually. Yeah. yeah. But what I was. So when you say like, everything in the bag, I'll be like, okay, you, what you put all the, the furniture in there as well. <laughs> and the bag. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the bag is full. Yeah. Like, I assume you get what I mean by like, of value. Like, if yeah. anything is interesting, I would want to take it. And like Haley would be looking specifically for things, I assume. Yeah, but that's as sure. opposed to my like is. anything. Awesome, uh, Haley. Yeah. Look, looking around this room, um, you find uh, some, you know, somewhat valuable. Uh, what is the words? Um, organs amongst these prized possessions. Uh, two, you can add, just write this down, uh, two hold on, hold on, hold on. Abyss, abyssal eyes two. to your inventory. Yep, I'm just going to take a quick moment to go to the bathroom as well. I'll be back in just a second. Um, sorry to those of you guys who are watching the stream, we're going to be back in just a moment. We're just getting some things up and running. Right in the middle of your list. <laughs> Take a second then. I think I need a drink. Anyway. So I'm gonna grab that real quick. Me too. Is there anybody out there feeling something? Every single time uh, Angus now says uh, make a wisdom, wisdom save, all my brain goes to is the, uh, the Rick and Morty, uh, oh boy, here I go killing again meme. <laughs> In fact, I'm going to create it now and put it in the group chat. It's just nice. too good of an idea. Whenever he tells me to make wisdom checks, I'm just like, I'm gonna roll stupidly high and it won't matter.
Welcome back. Welcome back. I think we have our first uh, DOTB meme, ladies and gentlemen. Which is it? I just posted this. <laughs> it's group been a few bell. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say. Oh boy, here I go, this killing one's again! <laughs> Dude! This one's got a Dude. image to it. <laughs> Streamlabs is kind of just having a little bit of a meltdown. None of my stream labels are working, so. But that's okay. That's okay. That's okay. That's okay. Out of all the things that could have gone wrong with today's stream, this is like the least of my worries. Nice. Like. Last week, I was dropping 75% of my frames. Um, and right now, with my new PC, I'm dropping 1.4 on the same internet. Yeah, sorry, Naomi. Nice. I have, I have a feeling the camera might also play a part in that. But at the same time, progress yeah. is progress. Progress is progress. So, um, hopefully, once today's stream is over... Uh, Um, I'll be able to do some more, um, uh, like, moving files across from my old hard drives to this PC, and then... Paladins? Yeah, they're Paladins. Nice. I um, might stay up then. I was going to go to bed, but... Be fine. I Hellcat, don't have Hellcat, do you want to play tomorrow. Paladins, or are you going to jump off and do something else? I'm not sure, to be honest. I can't remember if I promised to do more well stuff tonight. That's all good. Oh, uh, no, I'll probably be good for a little bit. Yeah? Yeah? Hell yeah! yeah. Hell yeah! Um, it's, yeah, it's just a matter of uh, me getting Paladins across from my old hard drive onto this PC. So after this stream's yeah. over, um, yes, that's a great bun meme thing, you know me. After the stream's over, I'm going to be gone for, like, 10 minutes maybe while I transfer um, via SATA like lots of my, like my Steam stuff and all of that sort of shit because Steam, Steam came pre pre uh, pre installed on it because it was a, a pre built PC I've never had one of those before nice, so, nice. dude I'm so ugh. got a got a 30 series in it or a 20 no 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 no, no. it's a um, I'll be able to tell you in a second actually 2060 has, is my prediction. It's not a 2060, it's the AMD Ryzen equivalent. So... I see! Yeah, I haven't used AMD before, so the graphics card is a... Sorry, the graphics card is a Biostar Radeon RX 570. 570, nice. Um, it's, yeah, everything is like a two-step upgrade from my previous PC, and it's so much smaller. It's so much smaller. Like my old one looks like a fucking dinosaur in comparison. Pretty crazy. Hold on, I'll send you a um comparison photo, Void. Nice. I would they I would do the same, but my one's comparing a desktop to a laptop, yeah. so. <laughs> And yet the laptop is about three steps above the desktop as well. That's just because it's the desktop six years older. Yeah, so that old that one with the sticker is my old one. And the other one is my new one. 
A hot damn. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so put simply, it's just a case of it's the difference between the uh, the IXR motherboard versus the. Uh, yeah, because like my, yeah, the one I've got right now is an Intel Coffee Lake Core i3. Um, yeah. But because it's a ninth generation, it's still a hell of a lot faster than my old one. Hold on, I'm just gonna, yeah. I'm just gonna send you um, the video of <laughs> me turning it on for the first time. <laughs> Hopefully that uploads in the internet. As in, you've got, you've got, you've got, you've, you've got the, you've got the peel from the glass on the side, have you? Yeah. So you peel off, or you? Oh no, yeah. I peeled, I peeled off the glass on the side. So now I can see inside yeah. it. But yeah, no, I've just sent you the video on um, th on Facebook Messenger of me turning it on for the first time. And I sent it to my boyfriend. <laughs> and I was like, ah! I've had such mad goblin energy all day today because of it, dude. Like, honestly. Honestly. <laughs> honestly. So, yeah, basically what I have to do is transfer all my data that I want from my old SSD to my new SSD. Data versus SATA. Yeah, but I'm using SATA cables for it, so hopefully it's not going to be a giant piece of shit. Because I'm trying to transfer... All I can say is welcome to the RGB crew. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, so I pretty much just want to transfer my Riot Games folder over to the SSD. Damn it, I could imagine some 300 ping Nexus Blitz right about now. Oop. Sorry about the wait. A oh, oh, whale? Come on. Alright. Where were we? I was doing a list. There was the notable items found in the scour of the office. Yep. For a bag of holding. Uh, yes, you got two abyssal eyes. Yep. Um. You find some documents which we'll get into in a moment if you want to read them. And you find uh, below the desk a button. Well, I can speak from personal experience. Any button underneath the desk is never a good. So there's not usually a sign of good things to come. Note first, then button. Yes. Do we want to push the button? I would say we do that before moving out of this area. So we'll push it after we finish exploring, eh? Okay. Yes. I can get it. All good. Uh, where are we going then? Right. If you're not reading the notes, and oh, no, not no, pressing no, button. No, we, I, I want to read the notes. We're notes. reading the notes. Yeah. Okay. Last entry. Jack has come through with his deal. I've been here some time now, and my experiment was a success. While there were many failures along the way, some more than others, I leave it to myself to get things done around here from this point. Whatever is inside his blood and that Malu creatures has some scientific merit for my goal. I now return to the city of Zorn to finish long overdue business. I hope my other has the same success. Mm 
maybe we can't claim that bounty as soon as we might have thought. What does he mean, his other? All the greatest scientists often think to work on themselves. If it's cloning he is after, we may have just found the other. I knew it then. Fucking old bastard is too slippery. At least there's not two Zinjits left in the world now. That doesn't give me any hope, Malu. I'm afraid if there's two, there's bound to be more. And long, as long as we don't fight an army of whatever it was, we can handle them, I'm sure. We've proven it twice over already. Yeah. Yeah, so I just hope next time we're stronger. I tell you what, I'll headbutt him. And Malu rubs his horn. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I got kicked out of my astral. Damn it. As you are. You feel this horn for the first time. You hear that watery sloshing sound in your head. But as you take your fingers off it, it subsides. gets down underneath the table and looks at the button. Can I make an investigation check to see if I can spot any uh, rigging or any indication of uh, whether or sure, not there's like an incendiary device attached to it? <laughs> sure, make me a uh, investigation check. That is a 23. Awesome. Uh, looking this over, you start to trace back the connection of this button as you uh you follow it around it moves down along the floor and uh up the wall to the back of this chair and you find let's get this in here real quick a secret door secret tunnel secret tunnel <laughs> Um, I really wish I had a soundboard because at that point I would have played the secret area unlocked theme from Zelda. Did it? Did it? Did it? Did it? Did it? Yeah. Uh, so push the button. Yeah, push the button. <laughs> All good. Let me. Oh no, I'm scared. There we go. Easy peasy. You push the button and let me let me just get rid of it so it shows on the map. Properly, because something is not letting me through. Get out of the way, kids! You're messing with my. You're, you're middling, kids. Let's. There, yeah, that'll. Uh, as you been first come into a room. There's a couple of things in here. Ooh. There is a chest, um, rather secure, to your right. Yep. There are some items uh, on small pedestals around the side of the room. And to the far left, you see a very imposing looking tank. Uh, like a big more armored like structure but the same kind of uh green liquids inside of it Haley turns around and looks at Melis. do you have the bag when do i not have the bag thank, thank the stars for you melissa 
Right. Um, uh, okay, I, what should we look at first? I don't really want to look at that tank right now. Um, I. What are the I, things on the pedestals? I, I don't know. Um, and I'd like to make an investigation check on the things on the pedestals, please. All or, good. Or an arcana uh, check. Sure. Uh, whatever one you want. Okay. Arcana is good, though. Okay, I will do an arcana check. No and I'll worries. do an investigation. The first thing uh, you look at is the large um, pointed, what what looks like harpoon, uh, mounted on one of these. And as you kind of get closer, you see a zap run up at like a conduit as you, you feel a bit of static come off it. Uh, make that arcana check. That's a 21, baby! 21? Yep. Uh, this is an enchantment you've seen. While not common, um, you know this to be a javelin of light. It's a bit of a specialty to some of the militia inside Zorn. That, Melissa, is a javelin of lightning. Look at the way it's crackling up and down the spire. Would you mind grabbing it? I'm a little bit short to pull it off the podium by myself. Uh, sure. Um, I just want to quickly check for traps. Sure. Uh, make an investigation check. A 14. 14. You don't find any traps, but you do find a little uh, footnote on the, the podium from Singe. This was from the first kid that crossed me. Now I adorn it here. It's killed many, but none like its original owner. Well, that's uh, kind of morbid, I guess. And I'll put it in the bag. I always pictured Singe as the kind of man to keep a rather macabre museum. What about the next one, Melissa? Can you see it? All good. Uh, the next one is what looks like a, a necklace of sort, but it's got... Um, some kind of mechanism attached to the base of it, which, I'm getting closer, you feel like a kind of light air suction from it. How strange. It's almost like there's a vacuum in here. Um, I will check for traps on that same podium. Or, or check for a sure. dog as well. Just sort of looking around sure. the base of the podium. Uh, the the note, the note says, uh, no, like, the note, the notes are in plain sight. Okay, sweet. It's just, like, to notice. Um, one of my first and one of my most proud. One could say the key to my success. This paratuff has made me immune to my chemical advance and preferred combat style. DC-1A t One of my finest in bed. What it is mechanically in D&D, though, mm -hmm. uh, is a different thing. Roll Arcana. Do I get advantage because Melissa was helping, or is this just a straight arcana roll? Yeah. I can. Yeah, that's fine. Awesome. Yep. Uh, it's a 14. 14. Uh, while this is Singe's own unique invention and you haven't seen it before, uh, the purpose of it, looking it over, becomes clear. This device neutralizes poison. Um, to the user or wearer uh, 
in terms of looking it up, is a paratath of proof, proof against poison. Okay, I'll do that now. Um, uh, yes, I can spell that, I swear. Yeah, no, I can, it's alright. <laughs> P-E-R-I-T-A-P-H. Uh, T. P-T. Damn it. <laughs> See, I, I swear I can, I can spell that. Good thing I don't have to record this, because I can't spell. So, P-T-E-R-I-T-A-P-H. P-E-R-I-A-P... <laughs> P-E-R-I-A-P... Per... Got per it. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> okay. Okay, here it is. Sweet. Yep. Carry out. Yep. I thought you meant terry like periat, but it had like a silent T at the start, like pterodactyl, but with the P, if that makes any sense. So, sorry if is I any, pronounce it. Is anyone badly, else smelling burnt toast? Is really what I'm getting at here. <laughs> gotcha, gotcha. Um and last but not least, on one of these uh, pedestals, you see what looks like a wand um, that just kind of crackles unstably. Mm -hmm. A wand? Would you like me to roll an arcana check on that Hellcat? Yes, please. Okay. <laughs> All sus. Uh, okay, so rolling with advantage, I'll do it again. Uh, so it's a uh, 19. Dean's discretion, but yeah. 19. 19. Uh, this wand you've never seen before, but it's weird green crackling energy uh, looks like some kind of amalgamation of magic uh, creatures and science. Um, while you don't know uh, what to really call this item. Singe does have some notes. Yep. Failed experiment C1A3. While working with some of the magic casters of Bilgewater and the Isle, I took my hand at trying to mimic this magic. The wand itself is a failure, but does have the ability to cast some dangerous magic. I believe if it does so, and one is unlucky, the wand might destroy itself. Further testing required. Uh, in terms of looking it up in D&D, &D, this is a failed experiment. Sweet, I got it. Awesome. Other than that, that's all on the pedestals. There is the large chest, and the big okay um i want to go and investigate the chest to see if it's locked uh you go over it is it is locked okay i would like mm -hmm. to um try to unlock it <laughs> sure make me a thieves tools check uh-huh so how do i do that on dnd beyond again I am uh if you so... have proficiency it's um, your roll plus dex plus proficient. Okay. Okay, so one plus three plus two. It's still only an eight. Eight? Yeah. Uh, not quite good enough. Okay. As this is a fairly secure lock. 
Uh, I'm sorry, Malice. I seem to have broken one of my pins in the lock. Uh, do you need to borrow one of mine? Would you mind having a go? I feel like it's. I might just not be quite strong enough. I think I hit it on the wrong angle. Uh, can I have a go at it, or is it like completely you, fucked? You you can, uh, but you only add your dex. Yep, the sweet ass. She's not proficient. Ah, uh, um. Natural 20, is it? Because you're adding me? <laughs> uh, you you kind of put it in and without really like understanding what you're doing you just move it the first direction you feel would be appropriate and you hear it click oh um that worked I uh I can't lie to you military I'm a little bit annoyed by that but that's fine thank you for getting it over. I've never used these before maybe you should use them more because you seem to have a fucking knack for them this is like when someone tries to open a jar for me and I swear I've got it 95% of the way and I just can't quite get the last little bit. Yes, let's go with that. I you did most I, of the work. I loosened worry. it up for you. We'll go with that. And Haley is just like, oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> yeah, let's say. go with that. <laughs> I never have that problem. Oh, no, no, Mallow. Brute Force seems to work for you 80% of the time. I think the issue with you, Mello, is that you don't need to sub out. Alright, oh, what's, good. what's in the box? What's in the box? You throw over, open the top of the chest, and inside you see gold. Tons oh. of gold. Mine, this is my job, this wait, is mine. Wait, 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 Mello, wait. Can you hold me up so I can see it? All I can see is the gold reflecting off your scales. Uh, sure. I'll struggle, <laughs> struggling <laughs> a tank tool of Taylor. That's all that's, good. That's full I'm of gold. I'm gonna give this to you. That's, that's you, full of gold, you just go. This chest is filled with gold crack. I will hold the bag oh. open. Do you think you can lift it up and pour it in? Hold on, before that, can I quickly ask Kana check it to see if it's like actually an illusion? Uh, I'll make it Kana check. That's a 19. 19? This is legit. Awesome. This Hailey, is money. Hailey takes the bag from Melissa and stands next to her holding the nick of it open. Do you need a hand lifting it up? Or should we go handful by handful? Uh, let's go handful by handful. All right. Touch them all. <laughs> oh, 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 hey guys, as, as, I... as, you're, as you're going, as you're going, make sure it's, 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 if you see anything that's not gold, take it aside so we can look at it. What's going on in here? We've... We have our first <laughs> loot as the pirate crew. <laughs> no, let's look just grin at the mix. Oh. Haley's Haley's licked two of the gold coins and stuck them on her forehead like goggles. Oh my god! We found money. Lots okay, well, and lots yeah. of money. Mimics. That's great, but uh, we're still in the lair of a potential murderer while Scoin and our crew are getting shot at outside. All right, well, would you, you like to just... give, give now, us now. a hand? Give us Confirmed a hand. Confirmed murderer. Okay, I like mine. <laughs> she she comes over and like just start shoveling it. Yep, yep. Everybody shovel it. Shovel it into the bag. How many gold krakens? Uh all together there there are eight hundred gold kraken. Guys, we're not looking poor. <laughs> I'll be honest, the bank had seven gold left. <laughs> Not anymore, baby! I, I had secret... You said a bank. I, I had I had uh, sneakily remained 50 on my person from the Billy Bricks trade, but... 800 is too nice. 
Well, I guess Mellow doesn't need help from the bank. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, he has to pay Unfortunately, that. Unfortunately, I think we... Unfortunately, I think we have some employees that need paying once we get back to dry land. That's a very good point. Um, Malus, have you, are, are we done? I, I'm just imagining Malus picking up the chest and like shaking it just to make sure there's no coins left. <laughs> like... uh, I believe we've got one more. Air quotes. Chest. I too think we should drown this other clone if it so happens to be one. Well, that's if it is one. What? It's 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 in water. Do you mean drown as in like she holds up her fingers and does air quotes? Drown, or drown as in like actually kill it? Well, both. Haley, come on. I mean, okay, stop okay, it. okay. Sorry, sorry. I'm I'm nervous over the last one that I went. And she goes up and peers into the murky green viscous fluid inside the tank. Can I make an investigation check in that? Yes, can. That's a 14? 14. Yeah. As you're looking into this about, <laughs> you do see a latch um, on the main casing that looks like it opens up to the the interior of this uh, this massive test. It's hard to really see what's inside, but there's definitely something inside. I can't quite see what's in it. Um, can I see if whether or not it's moving? Uh, yes, you would. Uh, there's slight movements. There's nothing grandeur. Sorry, I think I disconnected for a second. Yeah. There's nothing no, good. like uh, maybe I'm Maybe I'm disconnected, I don't know. Movement-wise. Okay. It's almost like it's floating, but not like actively moving arms yeah. or limbs. No, no kind movement with movement. intent, yeah. just kind of like natural movement. Haley. Yes, Melis. And Mimic, stand around the corner. I'll open it. Okay, Th thank you. And Haley will move behind um, Melis and around the corner. All good. Um, Melis will cast shield as she opens it. Okay. Using a subtle spell, just to ensure it goes off. Not a problem. As you open this thing up, uh, you see what's in the fluid, and it's like nothing you've ever seen before. You see this creature looking back at you, suspended. Mimics, help. What? Oh my god. Uh, Mimics instantly winds back and charges the vat as she just slams through the glass and into this creature. Um, yep. That will one-shot it as she just fist of the unwokens and you see this purple like splatter hit the back of the wall between the the fluids and glass of this tank as it crumples against the floor. What well, on that, earth uh, is that? Confirms? That is a void kind of bug. No. That is the end of existence. <laughs> Why was it here? Malice, did you see a, a note anywhere? Oh, that's probably a good point. Let's check for a note. Uh, there was no note. 
Well, uh, we already had an idea that they were involved with the Void, no? I just want to check something quickly, and I want to do a... I don't know what you need me to roll, but I want to do a check to see what kind of material the tank is made out of to keep this thing subdued and, like, not active. Uh, make... Or... Because I guarantee you, if that thing had been out of the, if that thing had been out of the tank, it would have make been a nature check. A nature check. Okay. Yes. That's a twenty-two, baby. Twenty-two. Uh, looking at what this thing um was held in stasis with, you see the the liquid start to kind of freeze over as it becomes more glass-like um, itself and very quickly it becomes a solid as it looks like it's become ice. Can I use something to break off a shard of the ice? I want to uh, do some testing you on it. Try. You or can is try. There any, or is there any way that I can like take a sample of this? Yeah, you can try. Yeah, what would you like me to roll? Tell me how you're doing. Uh. I'm, I'm, telling, okay, I'm think, asking you okay, how you want to go about this. I think what Haley's going to do is take the butt of one of her, uh, her little hammers that she keeps in her Tinker's Tool, or like the, her little hammer that she takes in her Tinker's Tool kit, and try to crack mm -hmm. some of, like, you know how when you, like, you know when you melt sugar, and then it goes really hard again? I'm imagining, I'm imagining it like that, like it's all very pointy and glass-like, so she's going to try and crack some of the, uh, hardened material off into a, um, one of the paper towels that she has in her hands because she wants to take it back and do some like experiments on it. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah. What would you like me to roll? Um, Frank, if you're trying to break it. Okay. Uh oh. That's still a 15. 15? Yeah. Uh, you try and pick away at this thing and it is hard. This is like diamond hard. Okay. Um, it's dinking your tools rather than itself. Okay. Well, I suppose that's how they keep it under wraps. If it's exposed to air, it looks like it hardens immediately to stop it from moving around. I have to say, that is an ingenious method of containment. And also incredibly dangerous. Why did you touch it directly? I didn't touch it directly. My hammer did. <laughs> you were touching your hammers, which touched it. If it froze your hammers, it would have also froze you, no? That's a good point, but what I'm wondering, Malice, is that they didn't have this substance on the failed experiments that we fought earlier. That's two different kinds of suspension liquid. So this one must be designed to hold creatures like that. And that only. Regardless, they have a void creature in stasis. Who's to say they don't have more? That's probably why we should check the rest of the rooms. Shall we continue? Yes. Alrighty. Uh, moving party back. There is some doors to your left and uh, the hallway down to your right. Mm -hmm. Sweep and clear, guys. Sweep and clear. We've got to get everything through, and we need to get out as soon as we can. Yes. Come on, gather up. Are we coming through here or not? Yes, yes, I'm coming. I'm coming. Um, but Haley, like, kind of like <laughs> looks back at the uh, at the hard the hardened puddle of goo on the floor. Hmm. Oh, actually, that's an idea. Haley, go push the button again to shut that room. Oh, yes, and she'll run in and hit the button and scurry out. It shuts. Alright, which let's room move. are we going through? Onwards. These are different doors. Oh, okay. I want to go through the top one then. Are the, sure. are the stairs leading up or down? Uh, those stairs down there, oh. ignore them. They don't need 
No, I mean, I mean oh. these ones. Yeah, yeah. Those ones. Ignore them. They don't, they don't exist. They're not real? Okay. So. Okay. Well, I suppose... Ignore I'm... them. They're a figment of your imagination. Okay. If you try and use them, it's a wisdom save, and if you fail it, you're dead. Okay, let's not use this. <laughs> uh, yeah, let's just move through the Do we want to top saw specifically? Yeah. Do we want to double time it and search two at a time? Or just one well, together? Okay. Let's go. For some for reason, I can't open. Not on that. Hmm. That uh, we can't go through. Oh, also, your music go. bot stopped, Mr. DM. Oh, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll find something. Yeah, Put through after deal with the door. What is it? This is, this is ridiculous. Um, I'm just gonna move you guys into the room manually. Mm -hmm. I don't know what. Oh, we can see inside the bottom one, just not the top. Yeah. I just no idea what. It's like hard to. Oh, you know, I don't like this room very much at all. Why am I in here by myself? Um. Okay, I guess Haley just walks in then because. Yeah, I'm tr I'm trying to put yeah, people no, in fine. here. Mm -hmm. This is the room. Uh, you see a bunch of tools uh, scattered around the tables, um, syringes, a chair towards the back wall, and what looks like a, a wheelchair tucked in the corner. And some notes on the back desk. Okay, Haley's going to go over and read the notes and try not to touch any of the heinous equipment that she sees around her. No worries. Uh, let me get my bot sword and I'll tell you what. Yeah. Man. Too much sometimes. What does it mean? The Okay, as you take the notes off the table and start reading over them. Subject 29A3. Real name, Kiki Summers. As far as the Void Project's gone, this particular girl has taken to its effects most kindly. She still has some semblance of time and place, and self-control. While I don't think this will hold up for much longer, she has given me some promising results to stabilizing its power. To put to better use. Very soon we will have to release her as she'll become a threat. But, a case study on the damage she could do might be interesting. I'll have Jack release her in Bilgewater some days after now. At the moment, let's see how she takes to the gym. And that's where it cuts off. I'm sorry, 
less run. It's, um, it's okay. Malice will pocket the note. Not a problem. And moving to the other room? I'd like to do one last or sweep. Just yeah. to see if there's anything in here that will give us any sort of clue. Uh, make an investigation check. Nineteen. Yeah. Uh, looking around amongst the tools, there doesn't seem to be um, anything that could help your investigation, but inside some of the syringes you do see uh, that similar hardened glassy material as you did with the, the vat containing okay. the void link. Yep, I want to pick um, whatever ones of those up that I can. Yep. They don't have any of the liquid solution in it. No. There's just residual. It's all, yeah, it's all, it's fine. I also powerful. want to um, break, use a set of pliers to break off the hypodermic needle points. So I just have the syringes. Yep. Not a problem. How many of those do I pick up? Uh, three. Alrighty. Next room. I'm just gonna take those. Uh, yeah. Yes, please. Coming in here, you see uh, two benches next to each other and uh, a large overhanging light. Uh, looks like up on the, the bench top, the tools present are uh, magnifying glasses, uh, some what look like uh, kidney dishes, and a microscope. Um, I would like to look at the through the microscope at what's on the slides. Very well. Uh, as you look into the slide, the first one you see, um, it looks like a, a cell of some kind, but with these white silvery seams running through it. Do I recognize it as looking similar to the solution that I had in my uh, vial? Yes, you would. Um, Haley puts her bag down and pulls out her vial of solution. And mm -hmm. is it? Can I find a pipette anywhere or a dropper? Uh, yeah, there would be one. Yeah. Person. Okay. So I'm gonna I'm gonna grab one of those and take a single drop of solution out and close back up the cork and wrap it up safely again and put it away. And then looking through the microscope, yep. I'm going to drop that uh, droplet of solution onto the slide and watch what happens. Uh. As you do this, it, it looks like it it flashes this a silver light in front of it, and then as it dissipates, the the cell is gone. Uh, those not looking through the microscope, please make me a perception check. Monster and Mallow. A two. Uh, two. Natural one. Yep. Mallow. Sorry, I didn't realize I needed eight. Eight. Uh, it isn't hard to say. You, while watching Haley, you just see a, a small flash, um, over by one of these chairs, uh, as if like a, 
a bit of sequence or a, a grain of metal flickered briefly, and then it just disappears. So just to clarify, did you spot that? Is it over yeah. from the slide to one of the chairs? That's uh, where, that's where, that's where you were you were looking you were looking down the microscope, yeah. but yeah. Malu saw it flash under the microscope and then flash over by one of the Okay. Um, can Haley take a quick look around to see if there's any more slides? Uh, yes, she can. I would like there's to three that. slides loaded into the micro. Okay, I, I, know the, I know the first one's empty, so I'll take the remaining two. Mm -hmm. Actually, no, hang on. Are you looking at the remaining two? Yeah, I'm, I'm going to look at the remaining two, Taking. and, and I'm, I can do both. I'm not going to. I'm not going to put any more solution on the uh, remaining two slides. I just want to look at them. Yeah. The next one, as you look at it, this is a interesting looking cell. Uh, it's it's not quite anything you've seen mm -hmm. before. Um, it looks like it's got very plated sections, but. As you look at it, you see what look like two different seams running alongside each other. One a blackish purple and one a shimmering gold as they move and overlap and every now and again uh, bounce off each other violently. Okay. And for slide three? For slide three, you see what looks like a cell dying uh, as you just watch for a couple of seconds but then you see a weird blue hum light it up and the cell returns to to life and then starts the process again I wave the other I wave um, Melis and Melu over guys guys I think I found some of the samples Singe was using to develop the essence stuff that he gave us. Um, I tried the first slide I had on here, I tried a drop of my silver potion on it because it looked like it was the same colour under the microscope and it disappeared. But when I checked the second two, Malice, one of them looked like, like the colour that your scales are, but gold at the same time. And Malu, there was one here that seemed to be going through some sort of cellular atrophy or entropy. I don't know what was happening. It seemed to fold back in on itself as it died and then come back again. I don't... <laughs> I need I need to take these so I can have a proper look at them when we're back home. I'm going to take the microscope as well. Sure. Haley, your one didn't just disappear. What? It got... It got moved or absorbed it flew over towards this chair and I point out and show like explain the, the metallic uh, fusing mm. that happened on the chair. What like it it can't have just teleported Mallow, it's a se It didn't like it teleported, just kind of like a, a dash across the room attracted to the metal. Maybe a teleport. Um, just, something was caught my eye over it. It, um, it, 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 no, Malice, you don't understand. It, it wasn't doing anything except sitting there and shining, and then I put a drop of my potion on it, and it. I swear it vanished. But now Malu's telling me he saw something flash um, over by the chair. I don't. I don't understand. If that is true, read back over your note. But I'm not multiplanar. Um. What happens when you yordles go in and out of your city from all over the world? <gasps> and Haley's eyes just light up. But I thought... I never even thought of that! You're too focused on the science, because I don't understand what you were talking about. I just know magic, I guess. You're also too focused on reality. I grab Malice's face and I, I reach up right and grab now. Malice's face and pull it down and kiss her on her cheek and I'm like, I've never thought of that, Malice. Oh, oh my stars, you're right. 
Did something now, can you explain my thought over again? Magic! Malice! Oh. It's... Okay, pro, it's, right, it's pro, pro, proper magic, like multiplanar magic. Yours, I'm confused now, even more than I was before, and she'll kind of like sit on the floor oh, no, and start okay, thinking. Okay, no, I don't, I don't have time to explain. Um, but when we get back to, to, when we get back home, I will show you. I will show you what I mean. And she sort of starts packing everything into the bag I'm holding, like the microscope, some more spare glass slides, um, like the, the the box that had the three slides already prepped and slotted into the top of the microscope. She's kind of like all packing it in. You okay, Mimix? I'm okay. I'm just confused as to what's going on. I don't have time to explain. So we am I, have don't to, we, I don't have time to explain. We have to get back to the ship. There's still one more corridor that we haven't checked out. Let's go that way then, eh? Do you want to lead the way, Mimix? Fine. I can do this. Um, Haley's gonna hold back for just a second to see if she can find the speck that teleported over near the chair. Um, Malice is just gonna point at Mallow and then at Haley. <laughs> Make an investigation check. Investigation check? Man, I'm gonna have to roll so good for this. Yep. Uh, can I assist by providing her all the information that I No, saw? it is literally microscopic. Yeah. So, th okay. you, this, yeah. this is on her. No, Haley's, Haley's trying to rustle through her thing to see if she's got anything metal or made of the same metal that the chair is. Oh, that's an eight. That's not gonna do it. That's not gonna do it. I uh, you you look over um, this chair, but you're looking for something lesser than a needle in a haystack. Yeah. Here. Unfortunately, uh, oh, your sample has gone awry. That's okay. Yeah. Um, you're looking for a grain of rice in a field of hay. Yeah. <laughs> no, it was more just. Okay, Haley's just gonna shake her head dejectedly and walk out of the room. All good. Uh, Mimix starts making her way down. Um, yeah, walking fast, face is fast, and she's home down. Sorry. Na 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 na. All good. Uh, you guys find yourself in this corridor here. There is another metal door. In front of you, it is labeled this one, and it says, uh, study. I am worried about what's on the other side of that door. I don't... Going to be to observe and study, or to research and study? Both? A, and to store? A sitting room full of awful people. Big desks that oh. I can't see over. Well, that sounds like most places for you, isn't it? Yes. Yes, it is. Right. <laughs> Melis will go to open the door. All good. Uh, you open the door, and what is in front of you is uh, two walls covered in books, uh, a small ladder leading to a uh, slightly uh, raised up doorway and a couple of tabletops um, scattered in each corner. Wow, you guessed it literally. Unfortunately, I we expecting... don't make time to read every book. Should we just oh, yeah. read the ones that he was reading? Let's no. go put the ones on the tables, I guess. See where he was at. I mean, you guys can uh, attempt that, I guess, but I wouldn't have any idea of what any of it's saying. Oh, all right, I'll go and have a look, I suppose. I was right about the big desk. Or we could just ignore them. How about we just pick up the ones that are on the tables being read? I'll do a quick scan of the room to see if I can spot anything that sticks out. Uh, make investigations, sure. Investigation checks, please. Uh, that's a 12 for Haley. And a 12 for Malu. Cool. Going through these, um, a lot of them are just, uh, general study books, like anatomy and sciences, 
But one does kind of stick out amongst the rest as a bit odd. Um, it's it's called Mirrors for Smucks. <laughs> I look up. Do I see any mirrors? Uh, you do not. It is books, a uh, big door, the far side, and door raised to the, to the north. No mirrors. I head for the ladder. All good. Uh, you head to the ladder. Um, opening up this doorway, looks like there's a small passage here. And as you look through it, you find yourself connected to what looks like a small cave, uh, prop. And as you poke your head through, you see far, far up a small bit of light from the surface shining over a ladder. I return to the group. I think I may have found our secret exit. Should we finish exploring the rest before we head up? There's just yes. a, a ladder back to the surface up there. Well, it's good to know there's a quick way out. Also, did we pick up that book about mirrors? Oh, I will, and Haley will grab it and pop it in the bag. So, mirrors for schmucks? Yep, mirrors for schmucks. Schmucks. I'm genuinely interested in what this book could be because there's so many different layers of what that could yeah, be. I know. <laughs> this is how a mirror works. <laughs> yeah, is it mirror, like the construction, mirror, the it, metaphorical part? Mirror, it's shiny. <laughs> it go reflect brrrr. It go brrr. <laughs> <laughs> One last door. Let's do it. All good. Well, let's hope it's last. As you open this door, in front of you you see a large table with orbs connecting from central points. As looking around the room, you see what looks like a hand crank on a smaller table to your right. And to the north, you see what looks like a small sealed door. Damn it, more doors. I think I know what this is. Can we... You do? Well, look at it, Malice. It looks like... Like a star system or planets or something. I would like to make... make an, I would like make, to make an investigation uh, arcana check. Arcana check. Uh, or I can't, make an arcana check. I know what this is. It's a planet That's a dirty 20, baby. 20. Uh, you know this to be a system map of uh, your solar system yeah, it's an and others surrounding it. And you particularly recognize one of these to be the home of the Yordles. Is it the silver one? It is. Yeah, it is the silver one. I'm, I'm just looking at the picture. It's the small silver one that looks like a pearl, right? Not the big one? Uh, it's a small one that looks like a pearl. Okay. Guys, this is an astrolarium. It's cosmic bodies. Like, look, look at the little, the, see the little white one, the one that looks like a pearl. And she, tr she sort of trots around. And she points at it. This is the same color as the fluid in my vial. It's the same color as my my cell specimen. It's it's Yordle. Hmm. This is interesting. Some of these look like elemental. It's... I think if... I'm right. Now, this just might be conjecture. I think this isn't just an astrolarium, but this is a planar astrolarium. Mm. Like, yes, it's yes, it's galaxies and everything and all the stuff that you see up in the sky, but it's also the planes as well, the planes of existence. 
This is quite fascinating. This green one here it, uh, has the axiom of Earth in its mic. And the red one, fire. Blue, water. And this dark one, wind. And storms. But what about the little green and the gold one, though, Mimics? I do not know. Whatever is inscribed here isn't part of our elemental equilibrium. Can I get you to come over here and look at this purple one? I don't know about mm. you, but that, that color seems depressingly familiar already. This one is void. Malice, do you recognize anything here? Are you getting a feel for anything here? Malice is confused as fuck because she knows a bit about what goes on at, like, Targon, so, like, this is very weird to her. Do you share that um, with the group? No. <laughs> uh, no, like, I'm just explaining why she's confused. Okay, now that's um, can Melis have a small investigation of the gold one? Yes. But it's an arcana check. Okay. That is a 19. 19. This one is particularly weird because it doesn't seem to really belong in any place. But you know this one to symbolize uh, deities and celestial entity that move between these uh, these different um, worlds. So this gold one is meant to represent <laughs> things that don't stay put, but are definitely of the same existence as everything else. So it's more of a wild card, I guess? It's very powerful in its own right, but should it necessarily belong alongside more primal forces? Everything in the cosmos has its place, Malice. Hold on, and Haley's going to trot over to this crank mechanism. Mm-hmm. Um... Now, this is going to sound a bit mad, but I think if we can work out what the alignments are, this is going to get us somewhere. I just... So, Malice, you were saying the gold one is a transient... Well, not transient, but non-corporeal existence, but on the same plane. Malice will blink twice. Okay, sorry. Very yeah. rapidly. No, what, what I mean is it's it's there and it's not. Yes, it moves around. It's definitely a thing. Um, how do I explain it? It's... Think My of it like the stars. Of no, I was going to say more like the stars, because it's definitely there. Stars, for example, don't move necessarily, but the planet changes, oh, I guess, I see, depending I know, I, on what Malice, I know what you mean. It's like the other side of the moon. Like, sometimes there's a full moon, and sometimes it's not a full moon. But the moon is still there, right? Sure, let's go with that. Okay. Malu, do you see or feel anything here that is familiar to you? I'm especially interested in your take on it, because... As far as I can see, life and death aren't represented here. Unless they are, and I'm just not catching it. Roll perception you. For Haley? No, for Mallory. Okay. Mallory rolled a four, a fifteen. Sorry, fifteen. You feel more drawn to this. Um, I know there's two kind of light purple ones here, but the slightly darker of the two, you feel um, nearest to me. more drawn to that as part of who you are 
resonate. This is... I, Malo goes and reaches out and puts his hand toward it. This one is unaccounted for, given the latest descriptions of the elements and void, the order kind. Does this one represent the opposite side to the one Malice was describing? The absence of the absence of movement? Existence? Maybe. Perhaps? Hmm. The ceasing of involvement. So if we take that as death and the gold one Malice pointed out as life Can I all kind of check the small green one? Yeah, that's what I'm just thinking of too. Do you see what I'm angling for with this? Sure. Uh, the small green one, make an arcana check. 17. It feels like... the world. It feels like home. Um, so would Malice know that is like more of a Runeterra home or like a different kind of home she may have experienced? Uh, more like Runeterra. Okay, okay, like, just clarify that. You're, 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 you're present. Um, yeah. feelings of your world. Yep. So this green one would be this place, which is kind of strange, because are the forces, like primordial forces that the Extals know, are they different and from other places than our own? While all of the primordial forces converge on our plane, they exist elsewhere too, more concentrated. I am no astrologer, but it would make sense that they have a home. Okay, out of character, I'm pretty sure from the soundtrack I just heard Minecraft dirt breaking. <laughs> I was not paying it, so... Okay. Okay, um, Haley's going to walk over and turn. If, if, if I turn the crank, does the astralaria move? It does. In which direction? Yeah, which crank? Three. Yeah. Do you keep cranking? Uh, no, I'm going to see because there's. Uh, it only moves briefly. There's no change. Okay. And it kind of resets it to resets its original. Itself. So I just yep. want to double check with this crank mechanism. How many handles are there? Uh, there is one. There is one handle. Yes. Okay. I think... Okay. Um... I have an idea. And Halo trots back over and looks at the... Looks at the big wheel. And mm -hmm. she noted, uh, I'm, okay. making, I'm taking note of the two so, cranks so, on the side, right? So, yeah, this yeah. is the crank yeah. to change uh, these rods. Yep. This is the crank to change the direction of the table. Okay. Okay. Ah. Uh. Yeah. Okay. Um, who, whoever's closest, I need you to grab one handle each of the big cranks. And turn what I say. I'm on it. Good I am ready. And so this this door up here is locked. This yep. one. This door up here is locked. I want you to turn to point the straight line. So this. Stop clicking the door. Sorry, I'm not, I'm not clicking the door anymore. Um, I want this point here to face the door. Does that make sense? 
Understood. I really hope this works. All right. Have they turned the handle? Uh, you turn the handle. You haven't said yeah, go. Yeah. No, said uh, go. Okay. Yeah, we, all right, all right. We're waiting for your three, word because you three, said we'll do it on well, you. Three, two, one. Turn now. And Haley is going to rotate the small handle on the, this crank. Mix. Starts turning. Mel, you start turning. Uh huh. As you start turning, the table moves over, uh, pointing the rods towards the doorway. And as you turn the small handle, you see them position themselves differently as they twist around the gears. The small orb finds its place in the very center of them all, with the large green, red, blue, and dark purple orbs surrounding it, close proximity. The orb you felt connection to, Malu, finds its place under the small orb, and the white orb finds its place above uh, the rune, rune terror orb. The yellow orb and purple orbs find themselves diagonally distant from each other. But while the purple one stays in one place, the yellow one continues to move between each of the other orbs up until you feel the crank thunk as it stops. As all these rods point directly towards the doorway, you hear a as you see what look like two clamps on either side of the door disengage. Yes, I knew it! And then Haley lets go of the crank and um, walks up towards the unlocked door. Okay. Do you open it? No. I want to make an investigation check on the door to see if there are any further traps on it. Make an investigation check. It's a 17. There's not. Okay. Literally nothing's been trapped, but we've been checking and <laughs> Yeah, better safe than sorry. This man's a poisoner, you know. I really want another face full of gas. Yeah, and, the respect and, and we're now in his personal quarters, yeah. I guess. That's not going to poison his own personal okay. quarters. Do we go through together? No, oh, Bella's is taking a look at where everything's positioned. You're opening the door. Haley lifts up her pistol. Yep. And readies it. And pushes the door open. You open the door and step through. In front of you, you see a large glass disc reflective as what look like stars and bits of constellation move around the sides of the room, a shimmering swirl begins to move. And in the center of the room, you see a small yordle channeling this magic. As he turns to you, okay, ah, uh, don't shoot. Why not? Haley Haley levels her pistol at him and says, "Drop your weapons, then. And then I'll put mine up." Not armed, as you can see, as he twiddles his little fingers. I don't believe you for a second. Turn out your pockets. Sure. He does as you say, and. There's hair tie, rub band ball, <laughs> uh, a half-eaten granola bar, and what looks like a bit of a bit of fluff. Take off your boots. Do we need to take off my boots? 
Come on. You could look. All you need to do is take them off, shake them out, and then you can put them back on. I just want to see. Them. Make sure you're not up. Fine. Takes off his boots, shakes them out, shows you down the uh, the sleeve of them, and then goes to put them back on. Good. Do Do we need to roll to connect this uh, reorder to the uh, Rex attack on the boat? Uh, if you recognize him, you recognize him. If you okay. don't remember who he is, you... I, I can't remember. I, Malo, I don't know if they actually know. Haley, okay. Haley, 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 oh, no, Haley, no. Haley um, just like holds up her ah. weapon. Oh, sorry, Void. First things first. What are you doing here? I could ask you the same thing. Well, I'm about to head home. Um, my business is done here. I've filled my contract. Who was your contract? Well, I hope you're paid in advance. Oh, well, I didn't get paid in the conventional sense. But I've been compensated, yes? Who was your contract with? Was that really liberty a question? Say. Oh, of course you are. Your contract's fulfilled. You're not protected. Exactly. You don't have to protect them at all anymore. Well, still conditions. Well, then you haven't fulfilled your contract, then, have you? Well, you're still being held under conditions. The task is done, but you're right. the yordle doing down here look I was just hired to move some stuff it's pretty easy for me and considering I'm about to head back to where we're from you shouldn't have any trouble believing to move was it mobile well, cargo a couple of things sometimes prisoners sometimes items sometimes jack's men depends there was a lot struggle to remember it. Hmm. i don't remember seeing you before well what? you shouldn't i keep alive Sorry, guys, I desperately need to go to the bathroom. I'll be back in a second. Ah, ah. Well, I recognize you. And I recognize you. <laughs> You're Didn't a fast me alive. Shit. Yeah, yeah. Helps. When you ain't shot at. Malice will kind of like hold out her hand to give him a handshake. It's gonna well, insight we'll... check you. Okay. Are you being honest or just Yeah, genuine. Okay. That was some amazing he, magic. He believes you as he slowly, cautiously shakes one of your fingers and then pulls his arm back. Thanks. Uh, now, can someone explain why, why you're here? Oh, right, we were, uh, killing who I assume your contract was with. So, Singed is dead. Ah, Singed. Yeah, not my contract. Wonderful. I can say that. Well, that narrows it down for me. Sorry to, uh... He just had something there. he needed to get passed off. Before, uh... You apparently killed him. And I've done that now, so I've grabbed my things, and I'm on to a brighter future. Well, safe travels then, eh? Good. Uh, the other one of my kind seems to have more questions for me. So, on that note, we'll take a short break while we're Yeah, sweet as. I too will run to the bathroom. See you in a sec. 
All good. I'm so sorry about that, guys. Thank you so much for waiting. Huh, okay. Mally, do you recognize him? I don't, I, just out of character, I don't think Hayley uh, remembers seeing the Whoa. young fella. Because I think she was kind of focused hey, on stuff. Hey, hey, hey. You guys hear me? Yeah, okay. I'm back. We, we were just uh, wow. taking a short break. Yeah, no, I'm really, really sorry about that, guys. I really had to go. I've been holding it the entire time. Like, we've been doing this astralarium stuff, but I thought we had to get through that. It's all good. Um, Melissa has asked him some questions okay. in the meantime. Do you, you have anything else you want to ask him? Um, no, Haley, Haley doesn't recognize him, I don't think. Because um, I think he she was paying attention to someone else when he ended up getting knocked off the fish and she didn't see him teleport away and disguise himself so yep. yeah all she all she knows is that she he's he's a yordle and that's about it that's all she's got okay so am i free to go i don't know what do you guys think Uh, Yordle's asking if he's free to go, and Haley's just asked Malice and Malu what they think. Cool. I believe Malice has asked all her questions she had while you were in the bathroom. Okay. Uh, I'm. There's nothing for me. Okay. Well, you gonna take a step back now? Play the oh, losers. Wait, 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 As he wait, wait, jumps you go, into the mirror. Oh. With that, the galaxy like effects around the sides of this piece of glass fade, and so does the rippling in the glass itself, as there is just a big circular mirror in front. And that's the only thing in there. That's back visibly upset. He's going back to Battle City. What did you want to follow? What is Battle City? It's my home. Press back. Thanks. Well, um, why didn't you go with him? I can't go back. Wow. What happened? I don't know if I can tell you that right now, Mimix. Okay, I okay. It's I, been I, a hard I, day. I promise I will. We just have to get back to the ship. But first let me look at this mirror, and Halo's gonna go over and investigate the mirror. No worries. Investigation or arcana check? Uh, arcana. Uh, looking this over, you find your way to the edges of the mirror, mm -hmm. and you find some yordle runes inscribed in the outside. This is definitely a way gate, uh, which you would know is their primary means of getting between their plane and Terra. But you're Maybe there's something wondering why it's here. Yeah, I'm wondering why it's here. Um, can I take 
a rubbing of the runes. Man, I'm really glad I got this tissue paper, eh? Hey? Um, can I take a rubbing of the runes around the outside? Using a uh, uh, using an ink block, or can I just write them down? They're, they're not etched in, they're printed in. So you'd have okay. to okay, scribe yeah. them. I, I want to I wanna scribe them down. Yep. So I'd roll a cartographer's tools check? Yes. Okay, so that's going to be a d20. And I'm proficient, so... Plus intelligence plus proficiency, so d20 plus 6. Oh, fuck off, that's a nat 20! That's a nat 20! That's a 26, that's a nat 20, baby. It is like she's taking a picture. The size, position, every last detail is exactly on. Excellent. But yeah, you're in this room. It's large mirror in front of you. On that, it's just you guys. Would there be any details about this mirror in the uh, mirrors or schmucks book? Or do we know we can read that later. about this mirror? Because the mirror's no too worries. big to pick up and move anywhere, isn't it? Or is it just kind of like it, magic? It's, it's, quite, it's quite large. You could move it, but um, not easily. And it doesn't look like it's this room's designed to have it move out of it. Definitely have to well, make mix. Uh, tell me, no, if I shouldn't do this, and Melis will kind of like prepare to shoot a spell at it. I would advise against it, but if not, everyone else out of the room. Well, in that case, I do won't do it. it. Do we want to leave it up as an option to get back if we manage to resolve more issues, Hayden? Or do you have no. other means of being able to no. make it? Malu, I have a favour to ask you. Break it. Shall we judge? Break it. Shall we judge? Shall we do magic instead so it can be ranged? I slowly back up the one. Oh, it's, a, it's a mirror, Melissa. I think if you throw anything magical at it, it'll just bounce back at you. Hence why I'm going to do it way back here. Okay. No, we have to break it. Yeah, my thoughts exactly. Can, Everybody can out I, of the room. Can, yeah. can I preempt Melissa's magic attempt with a hatchet? I have some hand axes I would like to throw at. <laughs> you know. Alright. Uh, stationary target, so... And it's big. So you hit it. Um, with the hand axe? Yes, please. Okay, All well, good. Molo's going up around the corner. Fuck their shit. The, the axe embeds itself uh, in the mirror, shattering it. But as the axe falls to the ground, you see this silvery white seam run along the cracks and very slowly the mirror pulls itself uh together my turn it was worth a try i really hope this isn't what i think it is malice will shoot a firebolt at it sure um you shoot a firebolt at it and it fizzles as it hits well, that's not fun. Unfortunately, this might be a task for another time. Or, a task or never a... again, let's or... just lock the door. Or a task for another yordle. Oh, I'm going to... Uh, make, it, make, a, make a history check, Haley. Okay. That's a 15. 15. Yeah. You, you would know that... Way gates this size aren't common, and you know that uh, a way gate this size has a lot of security to it, so yordles don't get stranded on this plane. I think I, I, 
I can't break it. I don't. That's a reason I lean towards the scientist, science side of things. I was never any good at the yodel stuff. So maybe we, maybe you're right. Maybe we do just leave it. Yeah, let's just lock the door to be sure. Is there any way to open it from the other side? Uh, it does not appear. Wonderful. Let's lock this thing up. Alright. And then, yeah, just lock, lock the door and walk away. Melis plans to see if she can take, like, one of the cogs to one of the turn wheels. Uh, there's, see. there's nothing like that. Nothing? Ah, okay. okay. Yeah. I have an idea. Um, I would like to use my tinkerer's tools to see if I can, like, bend one of the pins of the cogs out of place. Uh, the cogs aren't showing. Yeah, there's nothing showing. It's, so. it's, it's, it's all behind the walls. Yeah, no way to tinker with it. Well, let's go. Shall we? Up Everyone we go. ready to leave? Hang on. Can I see if I can pull one of the balls off the astralarium? Sure. You can try. I would like to see if I can remove the small green um, Valor uh, Valoran ball off the... Uh, Runeterran. Or the Runeterran. Um, off the astralarium. Make a Tinkerous Tools joke. Because from 20, memory, Valoran's the continent, right? Easy. Uh, you give this a quick um, little zap as you disconnect it from its, its welded joint. And kind of like the, um, the lever in the Mandalorian, the little ball on top of it, you just twist it off. You're holding this ball in the palm yet. Haley looks at it and puts it in the bag of holding. No worries. Didn't notice that. All good. And we're leaving now? Or anything yep. else? Wait. You guys make your way up towards uh, the small passage, uh, finding the ladder. It's wet and dreary but you pull yourself up this small confined space uh malu coming in back so he doesn't get stuck but as you guys uh see the surface for what it is you feel a rumble in the earth below you uh who would be leading Probably Haley because she's small and can get up the things faster. And also, if she falls, she's not going to knock someone else off the ladder on the way down. All good. I probably would. Haley, as you look up, the sky is dark with cloud. And can I get you to make a perception? Mm -hmm. That's a 10. 10. Uh, that will do. Give me a quick. As you pull yourself up on top of this island, you look around, and as you look off into the distance, you see the Shadow Isles looming. You see the waves chop and turn as the eerie spectral green rises from the ruins on that coast. Suddenly you see an explosion down by one of the bays. A ship gets rocked, crashes into the stonework. Oh God. Guys, get up here. And I 
Uh, I'll move get away. perception checks from the yeah, two of you. Way out of the mouth of the uh, out of the mouth of the tunnel. Not a problem. Uh, can I get perception check from Melissa and Malu? Natural 20 for 24. 24. It's 12. Uh, you see the same as what Haley sees in the strobe, but Malu, you first scan the coast and then looking up, you see a glowing figure standing above the coast. It grows in size briefly, pulling this power towards it, and then dips back into the ruins. As the now crashed ship gets ripped apart by the tides. Turning closely, you look down the coast to where Scoyne and the fishers were having it out. And you all see this. The two ships are locked by their front bow. As fishers are getting flung overboard left and right, see your comrades fighting gallantly against their crew. Most of all, you see the same eerie glow coming off Scoin. As he paces up the center of the two ships, he centers himself on the fishers uh, vessel. Like the creature in the distance, you see him pull green energy into himself. As he strikes down to the center, the ship crumbles under the magic. First the force, and then the fire. It snaps in half. As the backboard bobs beneath the waves. The fishers that were lucky enough to make it overboard retreat. Back onto the more obscure parts of the island. But as for everyone else, who's to say what happened? What would you like to do? Did I see the direction of the apparition that I saw headed in? Was it like nearish by, or was it down on the on the bay by where? The it was. was it was place? far in the distance, uh, in the shadow isles. Oh, I saw a figure over in the shadow isles. I see. Yeah. Yep. As for Scoin, he's down on the coast a bit from you all. Your ship is intact, and. Um, I think what Haley wants to do is reach an arm in to pull up Mimics as best you can. Mimics is here and watching. Okay, alright, never mind. Um, oh, no. oh no. This captain of ours. What was that? I don't know, but I feel like we should go and help. Agreed. I think our boat's still down there. Alright. Okay. 
Um... Malus, Malu, can you come here for a moment? I'm all ears. Haley is going to lay a hand on each of you and cast a double cure wound, so one on each of you. If that's possible to do, DM, just because we're out of initiative. Uh, yes. Take two sp Yep, take two spell slots. Um, so first heal is a nine. For on who? It. Um, I'll go a nine on... A nine on Mellow. Yep. And then a seven on Melissa. No now that's, worries. That's, that's all I have. Please be careful. And then, can I use my bonus action to summon up my uh, shield B again? Because uh, of, yes. of, of, of casting my surface spell? Excellent. Yes, you can. Okay, excellent. B's back up, boys and girls. Malice's gaze is just going to be fixed on the Shadow Isles for a bit. No problem. Malu begins to it looks, run it looks towards... like a storm's getting stronger over there, but you haven't seen this uh, spec again. Is it possible to do an arcana check to determine what kind of magic it is? Like surrounding well, it, the isle? It is obviously necrotic. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I was thinking it would either be necrotic or like just chaos. Malu will begin running towards uh, the scene of Scoin's battle on the beachfront. Uh, Laboured in doing so, like as though he's already run a marathon. Heavy breathing, just as fast as he can, but still it's nowhere near as fast as he can properly run until he's about 30 feet away. Let me know when that happens. Sorry, pardon me. Cut out. In there. Did I cut out in the middle of that? Sorry. No, I think I... Oh, okay. Uh, Malu, Malu laboured labored with exhaustion as though he's already run a marathon before. As, as fast as he can, but not at his best begins to make his way towards the scene of Scoyne's battle on the beachfront. And then if you could let me know as I'm 30, 30 feet away from the, uh, the nearest foe, that would be amazing. All good. It takes you about five minutes to get down there. But as you get to the beach, uh, make a perception check. I'll say all of you are here because I imagine you're not too far off. My... Yeah. Exhaustion doesn't inherently affect uh, walking speed, but obviously my walking speed, I'll probably tame, taper down to the other's speed just because of my exhaustion. All good. Just as a note, while heading over, Melus is going to convert spell slot. Not a problem. Malu's perception check was 20. 20. As you look out, uh, everyone can make a perception check. Um, in this case, if you want, you don't have to. A twelve. What? Twelve. Twelve. Haley. Oh, I haven't made one yet. Let me do it now. Hold on, one sec. Oh, net twenty. That's why. Yeah, net twenty. Uh, if you don't believe me, it's I'm a little stream. Melissa, you see, Scoin pull himself out of the ocean, start climbing outside the ship. Haley and Malu, you guys see Scoin uh, has something new on one of his arms. As it looks like he's got a wreath of black looking armor around the cuff of his right arm. Oh, 
Are we in? Are we in speaking distance? Uh, you're not in initiative. Okay. There's no hostiles around currently. Okay. Uh, Melis is going to cast message towards Scoin. Um, he is. How, what's the range of message? A hundred and twenty feet. Oh, uh, be cutting it close, but let's. Oh, I'm happy to say it doesn't go off then. Yeah. Hey, just he's a bit far off at the moment. Yeah, no worries. Like you gotta row out to the ship, but you could do it. You guys going to return? Yeah. To your vessel. Just keep. Um, I'm going to tell Melissa what I've seen on Scoin's arm. Um, mm-hmm. Melissa, he seems to be wearing some kind of black armor. Around his arm, I don't know. I I can't see properly what it is from here, but it looks it looks like I don't know what it looks like. You're just going to have to come up and see. And Haley's still is it squinting. metallic? Yes, I think it is. It looks like some kind of armor. Well, armor can be Did... more than just metallic, right? Well, like metal armor. Okay. And Haley's oh, still sprinting there... anyone... full tilt towards the ship. Did anyone else see the? Uh... The ghostly apparition on in the island, or is it just me? I think I found our next foe. No, I saw it too. Well, I hope it's not our next foe. Ladros was hot enough of a fight, and he probably wasn't even at full strength. Neither are we, but all we can do is get down there and help. Yes, let's go. All hands on deck. Mallory, can you pick up my bee? Bee is RPG in position. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you mean RBG? Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> Rocket bee grenade. As you guys uh, climb on to the small dinghy, the short row back to the ship feels like an eternity. Replaying the events of inside the lab in your heads. And what you've just seen, it's hard to make sense of it all. But as you climb back on the ship, you see Scoin put his arm over the edge as he pulls each of you back on board. Well, uh, look, it was harder than I expected, but their tails between their legs for now. How'd you guys? Jack wasn't to be found, but Singed was. He is now dead. <sighs> Good. And did you learn anything useful? Okay. I think it's time we head back to Bilgewater. We want to be there when Gangplank makes his play. Where's Roxon? And this wasn't it? Kyron, uh, comes from, uh, the, the backboard of the ship. He, he looks completely drenched, uh, his fringe over his eyes, and for once he's got a serious face. Well, uh, that was some, that was something. Thought you guys were less serious, but you've humored me wrong. What about Billy and Jessamine? Billy's below deck. He's tending to Jessamine. She got it. No. And Haley's gonna go down below deck to find Billy and Jessamine. It's okay. 
Rock saw to it that she's gonna make it. Good work, Kyron. And Zarkon? Zarkon's uh, up at the front of the ship. He's got his thinking face on. So we all made it. We're all alive. I never thought I'd say this, Kieran, but I'm really happy to see your face. You can't even see my face. My eyes are covered up. Yes, by your ridiculous fringe, you stupid man. Fuck off, shorty. I'm going to put on new clothes. <laughs> As he trudges away, dripping. Look, uh... As the captain, it's my job to keep you all in high spirits, but, um... That was a rough one. Tell me that... It's not over. It's not over. There is still more to do. Good. You should go, uh, sir. You should all talk to Zarkon. He's serious for once, which uh, kind of got me taken back. I'll go. Name myself. Yeah. All right. Good work. Touch base, sir. You too, Captain. Gives you all a wink. Perception check from Haley and Mallow. Oh, fuck, it's a two. Natural 20 for 24. I can copy and paste it if you want to. Haley got a two, so. <laughs> All good. You don't notice. Malu. Whatever armor was around his wrist the first time you saw him, it's no longer there. I don't bring it up explicitly in this conversation. You know, I don't know what happened out here, but something's off. A lot of things are, Mimix. I'm going to get some rest. I think you should all do the same. As she makes her way below deck. We should probably speak to Zarkon. He's got a serious face on. We should probably know what it's about. Yes. You make your way up to the top deck, and Zarkon stands there, looking out over the ocean with his back. Sometimes the happiest faces bear the heaviest of hearts. Is everything all right? Oh, uh... Welcome back. I'm sorry. I've had things on my mind. How did you go? We learned quite a lot. And we beat him. Or one facet of him, anyway. The monster's dead. Malice will shake her head and say. I'm not sure if we're quite on the same page of which monster. Jack. The man that here. did that to my daughter. 
Malice will hand him the note about Kiki from the lab. One person has been killed, yes. He slams the railing. Fuck. I'm not going to let this go. My path takes me to Piltover. If that's where you're heading, I will too. But as for now, the terrorist threat on the city. Keep our attention on that. Yes. Yes. Good. Now, let's get some rest and some food. We killed a lot of fishes. Jack's still loose. And I doubt it's the last we'll see of it. And as for that in the distance, That's an ill omen. That's so pretty. <laughs> it is. Sorry. If only it were for good reason. I'm sorry, Zarkon, I'm very tired. Some things have come to light for me that I really wish I hadn't seen. I understand. You I'll, don't have to ask me twice. He's I'll leave you all be. Lot of effort. And uh, if I can do anything, don't hesitate to come find me. Before you go. Militia. Malice will move forward and give him a big hug. Oh. Be safe no matter where you are, alright? Of course. Don't leave me. He gives you... Big squeeze. You embrace. Minutes. Eventually, he pulls away. I, uh, I need some time alone. I've got a big job to do. Let's not fuck it up. Malice will nod and kind of smile. He heads below deck. The crew licks their wounds and rests. The journey back to Bilgewater has begun. What would Malu like to do on the return journey? How long is the return journey? It's the better part of it. Sorry, you cut out on the, on the it's, time frame there. It's the better part of a day. To like 10 hours? Oh, maybe like. It's dangerous sailing around bilge water. So it takes a bit. Hang on, see, is he cutting out? Like yeah. Is he cutting out for you guys too, or is it just me? A little bit, yeah. Yeah, no, for a little bit. Okay, uh, eight hours. Okay. Awesome. So short rest worthy, long rest worthy? Are long, we needed on the ship? Long. You can long rest if you want. I, I definitely need to long rest. You take a hammock, Malu, and sleep finds you. Can you please follow me into another channel? Okay, on that note, I'm gonna go to the bus. Bye! Bye! The bus!
Okay, I'm back. Hellcat, you there, bud? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Sorry, I wasn't sure if you were. Yeah, I'm just uh, watching a video in the background. Yeah, nice. Hmm. Okay, good. So all of my League of Legends stuff has transferred over from my old SSD. So that's good. That's fine. Oh my god, we've been playing for four hours already. No, what? Three and a half. Sorry? Three, three and a half for me because I got there late. 
Cough, cough, I know. Yeah, Light no. touch. I know. I'm sorry. I was trying so hard to make sure I had everything all set up and then it just didn't quite work. But on the plus side, because I took that a little bit longer, everything's going much more smoothly now. So. Well, I mean, I'm giving you shit, but like, I had to be reminded that it was Thursday. <laughs> <laughs> I genuinely Fuck. thought it was Wednesday. <laughs> Oh, dude! Honestly, I had that exact same moment earlier this week. It was, I was, it was Tuesday, and I'm like, "Oh, I've got work tonight. I've got D and D tomorrow." And it, it, it was, I was a full whole ass day ahead of myself. Like, yeah, not very cash money. Dude, yeah, I've been playing so much. Well, is it? Have you been enjoying yourself, or is it just like really yeah. hardcore grindy stuff? Uh, no, it's been real fun, but it's oh, also awesome. real hardcore. Yeah. Yeah, hopefully we'll get to play some Paladins tonight. I don't know how long it's going to take to transfer all of my uh, Steam library over via SATA, so... Hopefully yep, not that good. long, we'll which is like, pretty quick, I'll... right? I don't think I'll be able to make much Paladins or any at all. It, I am on the verge of passing out already, so I, okay. I, can make the end of the, I can make the end of this session, but I don't think I'll be able to stay up much later than that. All good. That's alright. They're probably no going to be worries. up for ages transferring files across anyway. So, I'll see you when I see you after this. Hellcat. Yeah, for sure. Hello. What is Melisra doing on the voyage home? Uh, there are two key things that she wants to do before she goes for a long rest. Yep. Firstly, she wants to have a small private conversation with Scoin. Yep. And the second is she's going to attempt to tell it to the giver. Not a problem. Scoin first? Scoin first. Please come with me to an origin. Hi guys! <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> You'll get your time. Yeah, I know. Not that you have any voices in your head that you need to talk to, I guess. <laughs> no, Haley's just. All of her mistakes are her own, you know. Her demons are real. Yep. And present. Yeah, unfortunately, yeah, they are. Mm -hmm. Yeah, unfortunately, yeah, basically, my my timeline doesn't look optimistic in terms of I need to sleep as much as I can, but then wake up at a time where I can still go to sleep Tonight, now in theory, to be up in the morning for work on okay, what, Saturday. What time is it for you now? 7am. Okay. And um, I've been awake the whole way through, so... Oh, Jesus, yeah, no, yeah, no. Don't, don't worry about playing Paladins, it's okay. <laughs> if no one's <laughs> I'll, I'll play some games with them. Yeah. Oh, good. No, I'm only, I'm, I intend to set my alarm for five hours after I fuck off so if you're still around maybe i don't know but we'll see this is a hilarious thing we brought the session brought the session forward by three hours and then the last two have almost record length <laughs> yeah i know but i think that i think that that kind of works out really well though just from oh, my in own term, you know, yeah, for sure. perspective, because like the more D and D I get to play, the happier I am, essentially. For sure. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. In ter in terms of it, also helps in terms of that later time uh, time limit in terms of ten a.m. for me, and I don't know what time p.m. guys for you. It just extends the amount of time we can guarantee to have before that point. Yeah. <sighs> oh shit, hang on. I actually can't get over how different this new PC is compared to my old one. It is so much smaller. But it's so much more powerful. Nice. Like, I didn't think four years worth of development would change that much. 
in such a short amount of time, but like, holy fuck, it has. Honestly, with the numbers that your PC is probably putting up, the last six months has taken it a step beyond again. If you've seen some of the spec, like if you've seen like the graphs with the different specs available for the that latest 30 series from NVIDIA. Yeah. It is absolutely insane. Yeah. 8, 8K, 8K 60 FPS just... Yeah, I mean, the thing is, like, my I eyes don't, aren't I don't good even have the capacity. Yeah, my eyes, <laughs> my eyes actually won't see it. So, like, for me, that's not an issue. I am just mean more, like, in terms of, like, response speed and just, like, you know when you're playing on your computer and you're, like, you have, you know, like, this is my computer. You know, like, especially yeah. over the last, like, two or three months, like, my old rig, I could really tell that it was struggling really hard with what I was asking it to do. Yeah. Um, especially with all the new Windows updates and everything, it was just really, you know, like really having quite a bad time. Um, but this new one, I literally it's plug tough. it in. I plug it in, and it's like good to go. You know, like. Yeah. Time to get you playing some Valorant, I think. I just, I, I can't get over it. Like last week, I was dropping between sixty and seventy percent of my frames on the same internet. And then today, it's 2.8%. 2.8! That would be... That straight, I've noticed very much from me on my laptop, because my laptop's obviously very small, but very GPU-heavy. I've found, like, found from that streaming is very CPU-intensive. Yeah, it is. But, like, I mean, right now, I'm recording this entire session. And I'm streaming as well, and yeah. it's only taking up like 18% of my CPU. Yeah. I'm just. Oh, that, that's going to be the one. That's going to be the one side effect of having these private conversations. Yeah. And I've got to remember. I've got to remember and rely on all that content without ever having a backup for it. Oh, I'll yeah. Make it. No, I'm. I'm sorry about that, but I, I don't have access to it. No, no, no. It's not your fault. It's just a quirk of the situation with yeah. having it. That's okay. Everything else you have access to, just not the five and a half minutes you're in a private conversation with the DM. <laughs> Were I really over there for five minutes? I think Damn. so, yeah. I, like, I went to the bathroom and then I answered a bunch of messages and then I was talking to Hellcat. So, yeah, it must have been like five minutes. I got engrossed in that stuff for like 30 seconds. <laughs> yeah. He's good at that, though. He's an Angus. Sorry for not talking too much, okay. man. Uh, it's been a big day. Yeah. Got a lot of stuff done. And we're all firing a poker tournament, made some money. Oh, Good nice. day from the stock market, made some money. Counted my tip jar, made some money. Got him. It's looking good. Avoids out here on his fucking hustle, ladies and gentlemen. Man, yeah, this is all awful. Like, I, I have no idea how I'm still awake right now. I I explained it to Angus earlier, but basically I just, uh, so for me now, we've just gone Wednesday night into Thursday, and I've stayed up all night to be able to play. I appreciate you so much, dude. But, oh, <laughs> no, 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 no. It's only the tip of the iceberg. Tuesday daytime at work, I did a 14 hours straight bar managing shift. Uh... Because... Lucky me, the one day where the owners are away, yeah, off on a on a Orient Express train ride, five course meal kind of Christmas dinner thing that meant they were out of office for the whole day, leaving me in charge. Yeah, 
they then leave me in charge of a 45 person wake. Holy moly. In a COVID world where we're only ever meant to have tables of six. Yeah. So I had to marshal them and make. I had yeah. to marshal them and make sure that they remained in their sixes at all times. Bear in mind, this is a wake, a post-funeral event where, where p- everyone is really wanting do. to commiserate and everyone wants to meet each other and say hello and yeah. be with each other and commiserate. And yeah. then just as I get near in from 12 until 4, and just as before I'm about to go on my break, I basically have to break the news. Hey, look. We will need these tables back at uh, five thirty because we've got a full marquee's worth of bookings for after it. Yeah. And there's a miscommunication between the owners and the organisers of this wake because the wake people think they've got the whole marquee for the whole evening. So then there's a quick scramble to speak to the owners and figure out where that miscommunications come from. Yeah. I always figure hated, it all I out. Always, I always hated to hated having to ring like the GM. Even if they were like meant to be yeah. working and they just weren't there, but like having to ring them and be like, "Hey, so you know these two back-to-back functions that you organised? Um, the first one seems yeah. to think they have the room all day, and the second one is coming in at four pm, and I have to flip an entire yeah. room of 120 pa- 120 packs with 18 different tables and all yeah. of that sort of thing. And how much time? And they go, "Oh, you can get it done in like an hour, right?" And I'm like, "With cleanup yeah. and bar reset until counting and crossover." Uh um. <laughs> So no, I basically had to force this wake of 45 people and the family of the, the bereaved to oh, uh, to uh, pick their top 18 so they could move down to just three tables because that's all we could manage to spare for them. And oh, then get cool. everyone else out and then turn over the rest of the 45 tables or 45 yeah. packs I've had venue to, I've, I've to had then to be ready for the evening well. session. I've had to do something similar before as well. It's... So where I was, I was, where I was meant to have my break from four till six, I didn't get it. And then by six o'clock, when we finally get that issue resolved, our evening arrivals will start arriving, and we're ramping back up into busy, busy. And I got screwed six. out of yeah. my break. So I did, I did, I did nine thirty until eleven thirty with no break in the middle. I managed to get all of my staff breaks at least and yeah. send people home when they needed to be and all the rest of it, but hot damn. No, but you're a good manager, Void. That's, yeah. that's the least you can do, you know? Sometimes, yeah. sometimes it really oh. is like that, though. Like, yeah, it's horrible. Yeah. Got that done. Six hours sleep. Woke up early this morning because we've got builders in the house, and then, boom, now up 24 hours straight. My brain <laughs> is fried. <laughs> Your brain... Smooth. <laughs> and then I'm off trying to offer to join for paladins after this D and D session. Yeah, I'm no, like, I don't yeah. think that's a good midway idea. Midway through the D- midway through the midway through the D and D, I'm like, yeah, probably now. <laughs> yeah, nah. That's all right. It's a shame he has to take Rivenbot, Rivenbot with him, eh? Love that ambulance right now. Yeah, I know. It's okay. I'm just trying to remember on which of my hard drives are my game directories stored. Like, did I have them on my three terabyte drive or my two terabyte drive <laughs> i think it's on my three terabyte drive just need to recover the d yeah uh, <laughs> we're funny we're funny um yeah no basically uh just because i was in a rush today to get things all set up for D, i didn't really have a chance to like properly install my hard drives although my case is really small so oh hi pepper you come in hello darling um i don't really know where i'm going to rig up these hard drives unless i leave the back panel off and just have like a external array but i don't really want to do that either um 
So I'm looking at the picture you posted in GPOY now as to the setup. Yeah. I can see why it's a tiny case, and my suspicions were confirmed in the sense of you have a, an IXR motherboard, which is your tiny one with one yeah. PCIe slot for the graphics card, and then the, obviously the CPU takes up the bulk of it. Yeah. Is there a sound card all built in and stuff? Is that yeah, I'm pretty is sure the sound quality yeah, pretty, all right? Sure. Sound quality is uh, better than my old one, but I'm pretty sure it's built Perfect. in. Perfect. Yeah. Um, cause currently, How much RAM does it come with? Uh, it came with 8 gig, but it's only got How many RAM speed. slots do you have? Two. Okay. So, if I so you could in theory go for a max of 32, two yeah, double 16s. With, with, two, with two 16 DDR4s, yeah. Yeah. I'm just trying to see if I can see on there where the... Uh, where the hard drive slot is, and let's see what it is. There's, 16 I, think, I think there's a hard drive slot space, like potentially a hard slot, hard hard drive slot reading space next to the power supply, but I don't know. Like, there's a whole bunch of like, there's a hard, there's a there's a sol there's a solid state one in here already, and another hard drive in here already. Um, yeah. Which one's your OS on? Is your OS on the SSD? Yeah, it's solid state. Yeah. And both your both your big mass storages are both hard drives, right? Like big boys, yeah, like the Seagate. Yeah, the video, your, your, your game your gaming hard drive is a big boys, so they're not SSDs. No. So obviously that just impacts what uh, connection it would connect to, but it's yeah. on the same port, I believe. Right now I've got a one of my spare SATA SATA cables running into my old SSD, which is sitting externally. Like I've got the back, like I've got the glass front case on and the yeah. back hard case off, and I've got my cables running outside of the PC. Yeah. So your your current rig, so you've got the SATA cables connecting to an old external hard drive that doesn't yet isn't yet mounted in. Yeah, it's it's not mounted. Right what's either. on that? What's on that hard drive that you need? To keep, well, I've, basically. I've, I've already moved it. It was my uh, Riot Games client stuff. Because yeah. my, my internet out here is really slow, so what I would much rather do is move things from hard drive to hard drive rather than try and have to re-download everything. Of course. So my only thinking on... How many how many SATA ports does it have? Um, it has... One, two... SATA one, SATA two, SATA three, SATA four. It's got four. Okay. And so obviously one's being taken up by the SSD that's running the OS. Yep, the one's being taken up by the uh, big... The hard, hard drive that's you. There. And right now I've got uh, one plugged in a spare with a power supply unit also running. Yep. Yep. So my only recommendation, therefore, would be almost... It depends on how many you want to be running I and how full you want your storages to be. Like, I, like I, what I want to do is basically move... If you condense, if you condense your library to be able to fit on the three terabyte one that you have, I th and then I like just because if I'm looking at my storage here, I think my yeah. So my solid, my current solid state is a five hundred gig one. The one that's in the, the new PC is five hundred gig. Yeah. Uh, of which, if it's a brand new PC with just the OS downloaded on it, you should still have four forty remaining. Four seventy four. Oh, that's small than I expected. Very nice. So four. Yep. Um, so sorry. Four, the one left on it after I've loaded things on from my old SSD yep. is four hundred and seventeen gigs free. Mm -hmm. Um, I've got nine. Recommendation: Get your Riot client on your SSD. That's that's it, that's exactly what I've done. It's already on there. Don't worry. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. Because my old SSD was only one hundred and twenty gig, so it had one hundred and eleven spare. Yep. Yeah. Uh, uh, so... Pro tip: I don't I add any game that you are willing wanting to play more than let's say weekly. Oh, to the SSD. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No. Why no, no. you? Why you? Why you? You, you know. Okay. Well, yeah. Space, week, yeah. Weekly. Weekly games while you've still got space all on the SSD. Yeah. Anything that you're wanting to play, but obviously not nearly as often or as much. The hard drive works and is fine. Yeah, because that, that, um, that hard drive that's in there is only a terabyte. It's only yeah. one terabyte. So what I'm thinking 
is I just unmount that and then mount my three terabyte hard drive in there instead. Yes, yes. And then, uh, but at the same time, if if there's anything that you're looking to store like long term, like pictures or photos or things like that, yeah, the that you don't need like daily access to. I'd put them on your one terabyte hard drive. I know this is now going to be a lot of mixing around and moving things and shit like that. Oh no, I was I was always, I was always expecting on... to do that anyway, so I'm not that worried about like the the idea. I'm I'm not daunted by that. I'm not. But ideally, yeah. what I would like to do basic, is basic. have that original terabyte drive and then the three terabyte as well. Yeah, but if you have a terabyte, you can you can put stuff on like hard drives don't data corrupt by not being plugged in. So yeah, if you've no, got things that you want to store long term that doesn't involve uh, right. active use, you can have have it on a hard drive and then yeah. just unplug the cable well, and keep I, it somewhere else. What I what I think I might do you... is see if I can find some um, external hard drive cases. And then chuck mount my. I, and then mount I my. Hate cut you guys oh, off. Sorry. I hate to cut you guys off. But Haley. Yep. I'm sorry. I'm sorry we've left you so long. That's fine. But I what would mind. you like to be doing? Haley. In the eight hours. Back. Would like to go and first things first. She would like to go and see Billy Briggs and Jessamine. Sure. That's the first thing. So she's going to make her way below deck to the infirmary. No. This have to be out, so. Hold on. Say again. Oh, hang on. Uh, I am cutting out really badly. One second. Oh, okay, I'm... That's lagging horribly. Test one, two. Test one, two. Okay, I think we're stabilizing now. Okay. okay. This doesn't have to be out of call. Okay, so, no, you arrive down there, and... Jessamine appears to be asleep, and Billy's just looking over. I'm glad you two are all right. Yeah, well, uh, she took a good hit, but she'll be fine. How'd it go in there? We learned a lot, and we beat the fucker. Or at least I, th I think we did. I'm glad you two are okay. I wasn't sure what we were coming back to. Well, you missed a hell of a show. That Fine. captain of yours is something else. Heard that a few times. Do you mind if you tell me about it tomorrow? Yeah, no problem. You look pretty worse for wear. Yeah. I'll see you tomorrow, Billy. I'll see you tomorrow. I'll Good see night. You Good night. And she's gonna leave there and go and find a quiet spot mm -hmm. um, and she's going to take out her map drawings of the um, Yordle runes sure. around the edge of the mirror and she's going to take out her vial from the tissue paper yep. pop the cork and drink the whole thing I need you to move into another channel okay. with me Bye-bye! Bye! Okay. As you pop this cork and speak. Hang on, can I, uh, Angus, can I get you to speak up? Okay. As you pop this cork on the bottle and speak fire. Hold on, hold on, stop. Sorry, your, your, um, your mic has gone really, really muddy. I've got you at like 200% and I still can't hear you. One. One second. Okay, that's heaps better already. Okay, you hear me now? Yep, perfect. As you pop the cork and swig this vial, you feel your vision. Yep.
feel free to look into those feats you've picked up um, in the meantime. Uh, as, as for next week, expect normal time unless I message you in the next couple of days. Yep. All right. But with that, i got to run. All right. Good night, man. Have a fantastic time. We'll Goodbye. Doing whatever it is you're doing. Good night. Yep. GG. I'll see GG, you later. WP. Stay Bye-bye. safe. We didn't level up. We killed a champion. Well, I mean, we did. We all got feats, didn't we? And we did level up did we? before. Did we level up last session? Yeah, we did. The fuck? I, oh my god, I didn't do any of my shit for leveling up. As in, we're all six, right? Yeah, we're all six. Okay, you yeah, know, I'm. So, like, we leveled so up I'm, on I'm the like entry of that. Like I must have done it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 It might have been a session before. No, nah, yeah, like, we yeah. leveled up at the end of the session before last session, but, like, we had leveled up going into it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so we okay. did all those puzzles, an entire dungeon, killed a champion, and no level up. <laughs> <laughs> Which is, like, kind of understandable considering how long it was before our last level up. Yeah, I mean, I think I think he's doing it as a as more of a uh, like a pacing, like a pacing thing. Like we're not just getting yeah. experience for like, okay, so you killed this thing, so you get this many points of experience. He's doing it as like a like a step marker. Yeah, it's a milestone. Yeah, but I mean, like we killed a fucking champion. Ah, uh, yeah, yo, yo. So say the expectation of the storyline taking us away from Bilgewater and further abroad is well and truly in effect already. Oh well yeah, considering we've got a fucking I can't remember his name now that we've finished the session. <laughs> ah a good friend Kiki's father person. Zark on breath. Zark on breath. Your dad. Your actual dad. Yeah. <laughs> Not actual dad. <laughs> the father figure. Um, yeah, now that we've got him actively, like, yeah, let's go to Piltover. Yeah. But we need to finish up the immediate threat to Bilgewater. We need to finish up with the Buru. Yeah. Ah, oh, yeah, did you catch any of my conversation with the Yordle? No, I didn't. I was in the Look bathroom. It? No, I didn't. Oh. I was in the bathroom. Do you want to fill me in while we're still streaming, just so the uh, everyone else has? Ah, uh, uh, it was during the stream. Yeah, but I, I can't. I can't go back and watch it, bro, until I'm done. <laughs> can you just tell me, and I'll, I'll can you tell me, and I'll pop it out at the end. I'll, I'll fix it in post. Uh no, it's it's hard to remember exactly what was said because it was non-aggressive. Okay. Um. It was essentially along the lines of me praising him for his abilities, trying to get an idea of, like, why he's leaving, per se. Okay. Yeah, I can't remember exactly anymore. Not after, like, that ending piece. Oh my god. So how is everybody feeling at the end there? Boyd, I'm not reading that at all. Please delete that so I can't read that. (laughs) Where did you put that? DMs. I don't want to read it in case you're giving away more than you should be again. No, that's me apologizing for mind slipping that I I know more than 
you guys. I keep thinking you guys hear the same things I do. No. I'm, I'm That's why I was telling you, like, that was too much information. Yeah, there, 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 was, there, there, was, there was no, in that latest DM, there was no TMI. It was me apologizing for the previous TMI. Okay. But the second I see the words Malu and additional writing, that's like scary with the amount of sleep you're on. <laughs> yeah. <Okay. laughs> yeah. Yeah. Things that are like intentionally trying to be kept from the other players, like the second, will leave that for now, as is. Oh, of course, yeah. Like, even some of the things that Angus said because he was in a rush made me like, why are you sharing that fact as like stated like that? <sighs> Once Fuck. again, I am sorry if I spoiled too much. I didn't read any of um, that. I literally can, saw Malu and went, nope. Can someone help me? I want to add a spell to my spell list. Okay. Go oh, spells, manage yep. spells, yep. add spells. I don't have an add spells button. Uh, what am I meant to put for? Oh, never mind. I found it. Okay, yeah. It's like the main tab that comes up. Yep. <laughs> uh, if it is to do with a feat, however, you have to click Features and Traits, go down to the bottom, Manage Feats, go to the feat itself, and interact with the dropdown, and it will give you a Choose option. Okay. Uh, don't clarify. You know what? I'm just going to um, turn off that window for a moment, just so you guys can't see. Oh, yeah. I'm intentionally not watching yeah, the like you. end of the stream. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Appreciate you. There we go. All done. All right. So with that, ladies and gentlemen, 